until very recently. Also, this player played with Team Gentlemen in the Aces Alliance Cup. That was a while ago. Uh, after having been caught, see here, there's a link. Furthermore, he made a post about being available to play in this cup. A little bit of rhetoric here. It's very sad and unfortunate that cheating still exists in a game that's approaching its 14th birthday. Let this be a reminder to all server owners. Be vigilant and check your punk buster kicks. Even in 2015, you might be shocked at what you find. That being said, this player is permanently banned in bold, which means these guys mean business. Permit ban from all future cups that involve this admin team. Any team caught intentionally harboring him, Latin, or her, or using him as a ringer in a match will be instantly removed from the cup. No exceptions. It's your responsibility to know who you are playing with. Nail, I mean, it, we, we see this all the time. I think every single cup, there's been some sort of an issue with a cheater being found, exposed, and caught. It even happens at the professional level. Those of you following the uh, the Counter-Strike scene know just before the last dream hack, a ton of players went on vacation getting vac banned in that game. We're talking like top-level, pro-level players like Kaylee. What can you do about it? Especially in a small community like this where we don't have massive corporations like Valve and whatever pumping money into to catching these guys. Don't cheat. Well, I think... Um... I think Alpha told me that uh, Crumbs helped build kind of, you know, a 2014 15 version of a Punkbuster update almost. Really? It's something they've manually put on the servers. So even though Punkbuster is not catching everything, there's people out there like Crumbs that are dedicated and they're they're helping, you know, catch these people. So it's just it's stupid at this point. I mean, it's ridiculous. Anybody that gets caught hacking, yeah, hopefully we can weed them all out. Yeah, absolutely, dude. So you said Crumbs was working on that? That's fantastic. I, I believe so, yeah. I, I'm not 100% on that. I could be wrong. It could be another different player. Well, I'm whoever... pretty sure it was him. Well, who, whoever's working on that, that's that's great. I mean, it, it's sad that we need something like this. Let me go down so this doesn't screw up too much. Um, It's sad that we need something like this, but... You know, pe people cheat. People use wall hacks. I understand the desire, especially back during Alliance Cup and other things where we had some serious prize money on the line. <sighs> Sometimes it motivates people to do the wrong thing. So it's unfortunate. Anyways, if you're just joining us, I see some people in chat. Uh, I think it was Road Warrior saying, what? what is it? What is this? Um, this is Return to Castle Wolfenstein, guys. We are about to kick off, yeah, live multiplayer. This is week one. It's our second match of the Two Continents One Cup tournament live underway it's team Roz versus the 6666 is expected to win right here first map apparently is going to be base i hope it's going to be base because that's what my scoreboard says followed by ice and then village um i think homie was asking if you could scale down the scoreboard just make it a little smaller or something i would like to but honestly, homie, I will destroy everything if I do that. I I literally put this thing together. It's a work in progress. Yeah, it's a work in progress. Um, you know, it's kind of cool. Traditionally, you know, we just have, like, numbers right here or something. Uh, I'm trying something different with this scoreboard. It's a little too big. I agree with you. I need to, to play with it a little bit more. Uh, but the idea is I <laughs> will see how this works in the, in the course of the game. I'm going to put down the times because honestly, in a game like this, the time is really important, and I you shouldn't have to rely on me with my uh, little makeshift scoreboard uh, writing this stuff down to relay the information to you. I think you should be able to look at it and have that information at your disposal. And I was kind of looking at uh, how losing and and bobsled and all that stuff presents their information, and that scoreboard is is based on. Uh, something I saw with, with the Olympics coverage. Let's just throw all that stuff down there. Let's throw the times out. More information is better. Uh, problem is it increases my workload. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Looks like we're just waiting on three players to ready up. Looks like we're going to be playing first on base here. And looks like... Allies Roz will be attacking first against the 6-6 six, six lineup. That's absolutely awesome here. I'm going to go back into free camp for a minute while we're waiting on one player. You were talking about the uh, the standard <laughs> offensive strat over here before we oh, got all distracted. Free cam. 
Oh yeah, well yeah, I know, I know, homie, and a few other people you've, you've said <laughs> less free can. I will try. Seriously, I will try. Yeah, I come You're from just a background. So used to flying all the time. Yeah, well, I come from a background of audio, and then back when we did video with TSN, we always had a separate cameraman. Like, I didn't have to worry well, about. Like it. when you watch League of Legends streams, those guys aren't doing the camera work; it's someone else. Yeah, I'm used to that. That's my world, you know. Somebody else is the same working. thing with Wolfenstein. They had uh, the Wolf TV out there as well. Oops. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Fire the hole! Uh, waiting on one player. Okay, so here we are. We're over the Northeast Tower. Standard offense is rushing out and taking over this one spot over here. How do you do that? Taking over Northeast? Uh, sometimes it's... If you can kill the defensive panzer without him wrecking your entire offensive push, that's the, the go-ahead. You start taking over northeast slowly but surely. You med train, get into the box room, take that over. It's kind of like you're going from the northeast to the box room to radar one. Um, as long as they don't get a two- or three-man panzer shot off, that's kind of key. Yeah. But And then just not sending six people top because that's just you know silly. Got to split up a little bit. Problem is, we see that way too often. I mean, you know, you have this one little door. That's it. And, I mean, what, what a choke point. It's only one little angle to watch when you've yeah, got the other can entrances. Just shoot on the ground. Oh, right yeah. Outside the doorway, you know, or, or past the doorway if he sees them lurking behind. Exactly. These guys start kind of medic training their way out. They're all kind of bunched up in this area. And your Panzer pretty typically sits over here in the, uh, in, the in the jail room. And he can fire right on out. I know you guys are laughing at my drawing skills. Um, <laughs> MS Paint. <laughs> MS Paint, that's right. Uh, you know, you see a lot of tactics. Sometimes people try to get sneaky by coming through tunnel. Problem with tunnel is it's just, it's a death trap. I mean, Axis forces sit on this bridge. They have the height advantage. They see you coming from a mile away. And it's, it's just such a spammable area. Panzers, nades, bullets. Uh, you know, you're dead. And then you have to go through the choke point. You can't see it on this map, but there's a little truck here, which forces you to kind of stop, slow down, and and come around the corner in a very predictable fashion, uh, which allows people to come over here and rotate and set up more crossfires on that area. Everything is dangerous on this map for the Allies. Yeah, it is tough. That's why you want to you know push somebody tunnel to keep them honest. Um, otherwise, you got the guy on the bridge who can just go into the box room, or he can shoot all the way over to northeast. Yep. So, you know, distracting him tunnel, or distracting him from low, and uh, just not letting that defensive lieutenant just put up mortars all the time. Kill him as soon as you can. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of different ways to do it, and timed pushes. Like, if you know that the, the defense spawns at 0-0, zero, zero, well, you want to push around then, and then anybody you kill is out full, and you can just kind of count them out for the next 25 seconds or so. Yeah, sometimes you'll see people trying to work their way around through. Uh, oh, there we go. Axis spawn. Oh my goodness! We have Parcher a match. Parcher was the very last one to ready up. Isn't that funny? <laughs> He's always the last one. Nail. We are underway. We got Axis on defense. Or uh, yeah, six six on defense, and Team Raz on offense. Take it away, buddy. Yeah. So for the offense, we have one lieutenant. Three medics, Panzer, and one engineer. Engineer being Max. On defense, the lineup wise is two lieutenants, three meds, one soldier. To be expected. All right. Well, we're looking, uh, trying to get a lock on Max. Did did he get taken out full already? No. Yeah. He's done. He got taken out by a mortar, I believe, yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, luckily, it happened kind of close to the reinforcement timers, so we're going to watch Max. Uh, allied Engineer, this is the guy who's got to plant the dynamite on the first tower. He comes up out the door. Oh, look at this, man. Pooty. Putty trying to get a cheap kill on him. He's going to get shut down by Max. Max. Dynamite planted very easy, 1355 on the clock right there. It's as expected, but Nail, I, I call that a real victory uh, on the part of the Axis defense of 6-6. They, they prevented 
the first dynamite plant over here at tower number two. Oh, and the Panthers are shot. We have a huge push. Right now. Oh, wow. Look at the momentum. They're in the box room. Here's Parcher. Allied soldier. Working his way forward through box room. He's got lots of grenades. Lots of teammates backing him up over. This is a great position. Once you're in here, you've got all these guys. You can go ahead and get the medic revives. Get yourself set up and staged for a real solid push. Parcher's going to lead. Nice, buddy. Oh. Dual Panzer. Doesn't fully shut down the push. Max is alive, but I think he's just gonna gonna hang out for the remaining uh, 12 seconds. Just cause some damage before he taps out. Nail, what went wrong? Uh, everything was going right until that one Panzer. They actually still have H2O and um, Max over here trying to get through. Oh, three people taken out back to back. Two by Jam, one by Oxy. They uh, they did a great push. They, uh, they made the Panzer miss. But then after they took over Northeast, they just couldn't get through the box room across the bridge. So now Parcher's trying to set up a spawn camp. Oh, and He knows they just spawned. He gets one. He gets the Panzer. So that's good. That's they, great. They that's know they can group victory. up for a while now. All right. So with the Panzer down, we see the Allies streaming in. Unfortunately, they're kind of out of position here. I mean, they're fresh off of the, uh, the reinforcement back at Allied spawn. They have to run all the way through the uh, radar station. Number two, yeah, Tweety lined up, drops a two-man grenade, taking Max and Mini out. I don't think he, he got any of them out full, though. That's actually really good. Medic trains coming out onto the Northeast Tower. None of the grenades can help grenades. it. Grenades. Still, they're not out full. Check this out. Engineer Max alive. Panzer! Nail, this is going to be a long round. Now we're coming up on the, the four minutes have passed so far, and Roz, they've been able to sneak through the tunnel every now and then. Uh, we just saw Elsa Hus throw a artillery on their spawn. Didn't get anybody, but he got all the way to, you know, under the bridge pretty pretty much. Uh, full re respawn by the Roz team. Parcher being annoying on the Panzer, doing his job so far. But yeah, they've um, had some good pushes, and Tweety is just being really annoying as that lieutenant. Just pushing up and killing whoever he can and suiciding every single time. Very, uh, very good play right here. I'm trying to get a lock on Tweety right now because he's really been a power player here. Lieutenant right now. He's on the bottom. His back is exposed to the tunnel. I'm pretty sure they know that no one's back there. Oh, that's not good. Gets the team kill. Wiping Oxy out. Works his way forward. And yeah, he's, he's being annoying. Holding down the spawn area right now. Nate out. There's a prediction grenade over the top. Does not connect. And Pudi has been doing a great job as Panzer. I mean, he's uh, he hasn't had like a six-man shot or anything, but he's getting at least one or two almost every time. Uh, he only had like one or two real you know misses so far. So oh, here's Pudi. Big push. He's oh, down, caught with his pants down. down. Look at that. He was not in position. He wasn't ready to fire. Ha ha having uh, the pistol out. Nice allied push over here. Uh, Squiz Squirrel with a beautiful two-man grenade kill. Uh, it looks like only one guy was out full. So, box oh. room in control of the allies. There's Max. Max. Check it out. The light is down. Here comes Oxy. Medic trying to reclaim control. Max is still hanging on. Question is, where is the Axis engineer? Sweetie, he's down. Getting revived. I, no, I don't think... I don't think he can make it. I think this is all over. Tweety's stuck at the bottom. He's going to get shut down. He's out full. That seals the deal, Knight. That bomb is tick, tick, ticking away. Yeah, it is about to go off here. That's a nice push for Team Roz. Look at this. 5.37 on the clock. Yeah, it could have been so much quicker. I mean, we were looking almost at like a sub three minute time early on. It was 6-6 six, six was kind of on their heels for a while. They had to retake Northeast at least two or three times there, just kind of spawning in, slowly going from Radar 1 to Northeast. And then it just finally, it just they couldn't couldn't hold off long enough. And, and Parcher got a great shot. He shot from the box room to the spiral stairway at Radar 1, killing two people and essentially letting them push all the way to Radar 1. Yeah, it was kind of... Uh... 
kind of disappointing over there. You saw Tweety. I think he was coming out of spawn and got backed into the corner. Uh, he was killed and revived, and he just could not make the push. I mean, look how exposed you are. You're, you're in the middle of this huge road. Allies are all over this area with crossfires on top of that engineer. Once they figured out who it was, they were not going to let him go. All they had to do is give that guy out. That happened, and, you know, you've got a full 30 seconds on the reinforcement timer. 30 seconds for the dynamite to explode. It ain't going to happen. I think Ross is in a good position to score their, their point right here. Fight. Yeah, this is going to be a really good attempt. A 6 6 on offense wise. They have one engineer being Mirage, three meds, one soldier, one lieutenant. And then on defense, we have um, same lineup. Actually, yeah, two lieutenants, three meds, one soldier. And uh, they pushed oh, a little oh, through R2. Archer. Yeah, yeah, they pushed a little bit up and they just respawned. So anybody they killed, that was a great, great delay on their part. Look at Mirage right here for Team 6-6. Six, six. He runs in. Engineer. He actually, I think this is the first push for 6-6. Six, six. They do get the dynamite planted over here at radar station number 2. I expected maybe a little more aggression over here at station 2 based on Parcher's position. Uh, uh, that that artillery essentially oh, wow. hit four people. I don't know if it gibbed any of them. I'm pretty sure it gibbed at least one, but uh, just so annoying. <laughs> Wow, 6-6 six, six basically shut down, but, you know, that doesn't matter. I mean, that's their first push over there. They're just trying to capitalize on their momentum. Uh, they've got the dynamite at station two. That's all that matters at this point. There's the message. They're South Raider. waiting on the push. Let's fly a little bit. I know. I am a pilot. I like to fly. I'm sorry. Check out this crossfire. Actually, there's not much of a crossfire. We only have two people really holding down that door. Allies starting to stream in. Two people, that's all you need. Tweety getting shut down max with the MP40. It's all about teamwork over here. Parcher with a missed Panzer. And uh, it's kind of a onesies and twosies. Not much going to happen on that push. What went wrong? We, we saw, like, six no six hadn't been grouped up very well yet. Like they've had one and two man pushes. Their spawns are getting a little bit mixed. And yeah, we saw Pooty jumped out, shot into the jail room. Problem is, Max had hugged the other wall. And then we see Parcher answer, and there was no one behind the Panzer. So it was basically a zero and zero Panzer shot there. A good push coming high with three meds and one engineer. Oh, the allies are just slowly getting one one down at a time and getting gibbed. Adjusting the field of view based on some feedback from users in the chat. And Mishuga from the Birds is just now following. Hey, thanks so much. And Mata with a quick donation over here. Thank you so much. Uh, TK Pow also following as well. Thanks, guys. Back in the game... Flying once again. Look at the crossfire. It's just ugly. We got one guy chucking grenades here. One guy watching uh, watching from box room. And I think somebody's sitting over here. Triple crossfire. But we have a little bit of action oh, going on down sneaky. low. Yeah. We got sneaky oxy over here at radar one. Oh, he got spotted shut down. And there's actually, there's another ally sneaking around here somewhere. I think he's in the spiral stairs. Yeah, spiral stairs. I got two yeah. people, actually. One medic. It's Squiz and Jam. Jam's shut down, and I think Squiz also, uh, well. Oh, alive. that was the engineer. Yeah, Squiz is Ross still alive. Spawned. Yes, Pooty got one out full. We have a lieutenant going under the bridge right now, and all the axes just spawned. So they're retaking northeast. Yeah, Squiz all alone with a pistol. This is not going to end well. Oh, no, Oxy. Out of nowhere. Comes up backing him up. They've got two engineers. This is a, sort of the desperate last push right here. Squiz, nice. Revive. Check this guy out. He's doing work. Shuts many down. And looks like the uh, uh, tower. Ooh, Parcher. Nice Panzerfaust. Eliminates one. Second guy goes down over here. That's uh, Squiz getting shut down by an MP40. Where are those engineers now? We have one engineer on northeast with a medic behind him. The other one's in the tunnels. He got spotted, though. 124 on the clock. Plenty of time. Okay, up the spiral staircase. Look at this. Somebody with a grenade. That's Elsa Hosk for Team Roz. 
Grenade out. Gets shot in the face. He just wasn't ready to shoot. Jam. Dropping the dynamite. Two plant. Oh, it's all Double over. Plant. Ooh, I thought I saw oh, a Panzer coming. Plant too. Nice. So that's a double plant right there. Jam and Mirage dueling well, up the engineers. Actually. Oh, was it? That's weird. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't plant too, just to be annoying. Yeah. It would have it would have been a smart thing. Oh, look at this. Mini taking control. Max, where's the Axis engineer, though? They need an engineer. Elsa, the one and only man who can save the day for Team Roz coming out of spawn. Time's running out. Need to get there quickly, quickly. Doesn't happen. Allies successfully beat the clock over there. Let's see the time. 501. Oh, wow. 30 seconds and change faster. Nail. Very close. Yeah, very close. Nail, you kind of saw that happening. Yeah, it was just the axes were getting just split up, and the allies, they weren't just pushing, you know, one person here on accident. They were being strategic about it. You know, one or two people bridge. Couple people northeast, just over and over and over, and the axes were—they were just on their heels. They—they they lost their footing and never got it back. I—I I really questioned the the logic of not planting two dynamites right there, but I understand what was going on. They sent two engineers. They already had control of the position, and they—they they saved just a few valuable seconds by. By arming the dynamite just that much faster, I think that was the whole game plan. Still, I would have dropped another one just for the heck of it. I mean, why not? <laughs> I would too. It's one of those so what-if things. They've already rated up here. Uh, looks like we got a lot of action going on at lower tunnels here. 6-6. Six, six. Three guys yeah, and booty, an engineer. Dude, the shot off gets one. And another person down on bridge. I'm not Ma sure Max. if they push past this. Oh, they know all about it. Engineer, Max. Roz shuts him down. An ill-fated push. It was not bad. It wasn't bad. They got two people on tunnel. Question is, do they have dynamite down yet? No. Nothing at station two yet. Not critical at this point, but every yeah, second sometimes counts. it is worth skipping it just to see can you break through or not on the very first push. You know, I I love those games where where everything kind of happens inverted, you know, station one falls instantly and then it's all about station number two because I don't think anybody's really prepared to play that defense at all. <laughs> it's like that happens and, and the Axis team just has to scramble and say, oh, well, now what? 6-6, six, six, though, is doing work now. Check out Oxy taking control of Spiral. Oh, he got spotted, though. Yeah, He's trying to be cheeky. they spotted him. That sucks. <laughs> I hate that. You know, you sit there, you're like, I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to get the spawn kills. Oh, no, they know where I am. There's the message. South radar's down, as expected. Here we got three of 6-6 uh, six, six in the inner compound. Not even at radar 2 yet, so they're going to be grouping up with uh, with Pudi here soon. And they just spawned. The axes just spawned in, so now's a good time for them to group. Uh, Merc, Little I've got. Exchange, but not much action. I've got the R intensity at two right there for you, buddy. Um, give me some comments afterwards. I'll set up the uh, set up the config the way you guys like it. I like it dark. I like it pretty. All right, action going on northeast tower right now. Look at this double stack over here. H2 is doing some work hiding in the jail room. Uh, somebody just called an airstrike over here. Squiz, look how fast this guy is. He just gets around the corner. Let's try to get a lock on him. Yeah, we have uh, Mirage in the box room. He gets killed and pulled oh! through a box. <laughs> Squiz gets revived, but look at this Max and H2O right behind him. Shoots him in the back. That ain't gonna work at all. Parcher was standing up top on the bridge anyway, so uh, kind of an ill-fated push over here. Oh, that was great. A grenade killed him, and when his body was in limbo, it pushed him underneath the box to the other side of the box room. That's so weird. Gotta love, gotta love the attack engine. Back. We have Parcher set up for a Panzer. He's waiting on them to group up at Radar 2. I'm locked on the Engineer right now, Mirage. It's critical that this guy stays alive and well to get all the way to the Radar Station. He's the only guy who can plant. 
They're running, uh, yeah, just one engineer. Well, jam goes down. Everybody's dead. I can't get a lock on anything. There we go. Allies making way. There's the medic train. Uh, Pooty, soldier, runs into the jail room, gets shut down by H2O over there, and uh, that's uh, an unfortunate end for him. Jam, though, still in control of the box room. He's going to hold off. Looks like he's all alone. No teammates around. Three seconds of the reinforcement timer. Doesn't tap out. He's going to hold that. Yeah, we had Oxy coming through radar one, you know, under the bridge. We have Jam at the box room still. He's kind of waiting. Oh, here comes the team. He's got a, yeah, he's got this could be good. He's oh, engineer. Archer. Double Panzer kill. Jam, Tweety, both shut down. None of those are the engineer, though. Mirage in box room. This is the man to watch right here. I think he's all alone, isn't he, Nail? Yeah, this is kind of what happened last time. They have not been able to get back on the Northeast Tower yet. Every one of them is a radar one. Archer gets shut down by a... A lucky grenade. I mean, I, I don't know if you were watching that. Mirage just chucking grenades left and right. Gets into a 1v1 situation. 19 health. He is so dead. Peeks the corner. Wow, nice positioning. Mirage. This guy knows how to play. He stays they alive. really need to get back on the Northeast Tower. He does his job, though. He stays alive. Jukes the corner just long enough to hold on to Northeast Tower. Medics show up. And now we're in a position to have a, a solid medic train across the bridge. Look at this. We have Putty set up. Oh, he is going to get a shot off, but he gets killed. Long range by Roz in the tower. Oh, Mirage down again. Look at this. Medic, medic, medic. Revive. Tweety is doing work. This is like an MVP play right here. Uh, these guys are just holding their position. They don't need to make any moves just yet. They just need to hold off while the rest of the team moves into position to make something happen. Axis are very well aware that an engineer is hiding out in the box room. They have that crossfire set up. Now you're going to see allies working their way down underneath. I think, I think Mirage was finally... Yeah, Mirage is out full now. Yeah, this is the exact time they were trying to... Oh, wow. So Elsa is already an engineer for the uh, you know, just-in-case they plant scenario. He's uh, He was just spamming nades at the spiral stairway, and he gets one. Uh, so right now, it's basically, they've been stuck at Radar 1 for a good minute and a half, almost two minutes now. So we're at the six-minute mark, so they've actually, they've held off longer than last round. But we have Jam Engineer in the box room by himself. We have a medic on Northeast waiting to be revived. There are three engineers yeah. now for Team 6-6. It's crazy. I mean, these guys are serious. This, this dynamite's going to go down one way or the other. Jam is dead. He's not out full, though. Mirage moving in. Looks like he's going to tap out. Mirage moves in. He's going to get shut down. Look at this. What do we got? And actually, Parcher is out full of the Panzer. 25 seconds. Now is the time to move. The two-man. Are they going to risk the two-man push up top? I think so. Yep. I would do it. And so do they. Mirage in station number one. Look at this. He's backed up by Medic Squiz. Running out of ammo. That's fine. Red light at the station. 8.14 on the clock. All they have to do and is hold on to this position. Let's check it out. I'll stay in flying mode for just a moment. Northeast Tower's being covered. Here comes an Axis. Shut down by beautiful crossfires. Look at this. You got people shooting from here, from here, and then somebody was over here. So it's kind of a good crossfire uh, going on on the part of the Allied forces. Where's the Axis engineer, though? That's the question. H2O got all the way to the spiral stairway, but then he ran out. He ran into three players. So not much he could do. Well... <sighs> I mean, that's not a great time based on what we've seen happen so far. 7.14 on the clock now? Yeah, no, that is that is pretty good. I think for the changes you made, you'd have to do a vid, a vid underscore restart, by the way. Okay. Um, but yeah, 7.13, that's, I would consider that a pretty good time. Well, a good time in general. However, last time around, we saw 5.01 on the clock or 537 on the clock by team Roz over there yeah and they had some pretty promising bushes before that too so this is another chance for them to uh, to get around and then if they go into ice it'd be one to one 
And I believe Raw, 6-6, six, six, they're, they're really good on ice uh, and Frostbite. So that's I think they're going to have the edge on ice. So they really do need to get around here as far as uh, Raw's goes. I'm, I'm going they're to ready risk. Up. They're, they're ready to do it. I'm going to risk the vid restart. Let's see if it blows up Twitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. This fight. I don't like this at all. Okay. Now, why don't you take it away? I need to fix this. Sure, sure. So they they are streaming in through the intercom bound. We have one engineer and five medics. Not even playing a Panzer on offense right now. They kind of got delayed by the uh, the artillery that everybody always puts up on Radar 2. There's another one going off right now, so they have got to either push or do nothing. <laughs> They're slowly coming out on the northeast. They got separated a little bit, though. And wow! Sticks it to him in the back, yeah. Look at Ron! Morty died, and then he killed the other two. So that was... That push is over. H2O. I, I don't know what this guy was thinking. He just took off full speed... Uh, in a 3v1 situation right here in box room, flooding through. I mean, he was strafe jumping all the way all the way in, just trying to do as much damage as possible. I guess he knew his reinforcement timer was just about up. So why not try and harass these guys what little you can? Six minutes remaining on the clock. Axis forces of Team 6-6 six, six, holding down the positions. Look at Tweety being annoying. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all right, Max. It's it's a really fun spot to play on defense because you can be just so oh, yeah. aggressive and just kill and kill and kill over and over. Well, we saw on that um, that the dog versus Sten is real game. Uh, an engineer was actually hiding back here behind the box and got a sneaky defuse at station number two, which is just you know ridiculous. Nobody checked that corner or anything, and uh, you know it. I think it was uh, Sten is real. It cost him, you know. Anyways, what's going on in the game right now? Oxy's watching tunnel. We got Jan setting up, dropping some medical packs over here in jail. Tweety moving up to be annoying at station number two. No sign of the allies yet. Yeah, they tried. I'm not sure if I have it right, but it looked like four people down low and just the pans are high. Didn't oh, work out so well. It's going to be a northeast take. Oh, there it is. That shuts down a push right there. Nice. Putty shut down mini, but we're going to see a solid, uh, what, one, two, three, four man push coming out Northeast Tower. Let's just get a buff real quick. See what that looks like. One guy just charges in. I think that was H2O again. I don't know what this guy's doing. I mean, H2O, he just charges in solo. He does the YOLO push right in the box room. You got to know there's going to be access forces setting up crossfires there. He's making the penetration, you, but teammates aren't. Do there. you think every time he does it on comms, he's like, YOLO! <laughs> just, Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Hey, man, speaking about comms, uh, let's go ahead and tune in, crack the code, and uh, let's take a listen to Team Raz, Allied Off. Just chill out at the Ardigo mid. He's cool. cool for 51. Great shot. Hey. Uh, you're listening to Team Raz. Where's like three minutes? Three nah, minutes. four on that, I think. Pass Let me pass. On Let the me tower. pass. He's on the right. Striking, I'm striking, striking. Stalk him on the right. Got no ammo now. Go. I'm pushing now. Pants shot. Way to bag. Let's do split. Low high. Oh my god. I get you. No, no, no. Split low high. Hey, yeah, but we need to do this together, not like yes, three we're of gonna, us. We're gonna wait now. Four four low, two high. One's pushing, listen. Archie, when you go when you shoot, you have to uh um, like fist there. Yeah. I know. Give him guys, seriously. Like Mini, give him. Me. Give that guy. He just left. Kali, go low down. We go can low. see our yeah, everything. Alright. Here's MO behind you, Mini. Airstrike. I don't like that too. Oh, try to you shoot. Guys try to shoot low, guys. You guys shoot. Why are you pushing high? I like yeah, that. Panzer shot. I'm with you, Kyle. 
Nice him. push. Just nice, nice shooting, guys. Raz going through low, making progress. Medic train. Uh, two uh, northeast. Uh, one next to it. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter for me. Alright, like, you wanna try the same thing? Yeah, yeah, same thing, same thing. Alright. Actually go low. Out of war room right now. Nail, I mean, we just saw uh, an attempted split push on uh, upper and lower. Didn't work out so well for Team Raz, and it sounded like there was a little bit of frustration, maybe a little disagreement going on in their comms. What's going on? Yeah, I was primarily watching the high side of things on Northeast Tower, and I mean, they, they came out. They just kind of got gibbed one at a time. They got one person with a panzer, but beyond that, they weren't able to give anybody on defense, and they just slowly got picked apart. Oh, Putty's out, so they know the panzer's dead. Great time to push. They're pushing three low right now. Oh, this is really good. Really good progress right here. Max is the engineer. We're watching him. We're following him right now. 125 on the clock. Oh, great. Great. No, that's not a great nade. <laughs> there are two medics holding down the spiral stairway. They Oxy. Know the engineer is somewhere. Diving on his own grenade. Looks like he lost. Uh, Max lost his medics over there. Gets shot in the back oh, with a no. pistol. That was Oxy right there. Uh, I guess he got revived over there uh, by teammate. Mirage 6 6 engineer. He already spawned out expecting a dynamite plant. Oh, what's going on over here? Somebody. I didn't see who it was. Um, was it Mirage? Was that the engineer now? Up at station number one? It was a uh, medic, and he popped out, and then about five or six axes popped out at the same time. Wow. Very disappointing right here for Team Roz. They, they had a very strong start in round one. Uh, but going into round number two, nothing. They, they came really close, but once uh, Oxy took out Max in the stairwell... That was that was pretty much the end there. Wow. Here we are. Station number one. It takes 30 seconds for the dynamite to uh, to detonate over here. So we'll just take a quick look. Team Roz, they were doing a great job taking control of the Northeast Tower. Taking box room. I mean, they were really doing work. They were doing their job. They just could not get the engineers into radar station number one. Um, very unfortunate. Time is out. Objective not reached in 7 minutes and 13 seconds, and that's going to be a point going straight to Team 6-6. Six, six. Nail, your thoughts? Yeah, I really, after seeing the first round, I really expected them as being Raws to at least get a plan down or get to Radar 1 a little bit more like they did the first time, but... Looked like six six just kind of adjusted, tweaked a little little bit, maybe just you know didn't screw up as much as they did the first go, and uh, they were much more solid on defense there. So now, I kind of consider this a six six map. So I think it's going to be a little bit more one sided here. I mean, scores wise, kills wise, it was it was pretty dead even. It was seventy seven on six six with. Um, Mirage is leading the pack, 19. Good damage across the board from everybody. And then on the other side of things, Raws, they had 76 kills with, um, I guess, just Raws being the leader there, <laughs> 18 kills. Uh, Mini was six, kind of rough. Yeah. They're, wow, they're very, very even, actually. I mean, 77, 76. The Gibbs, yeah, really close. The, the Gibbs are actually not uh, not that far apart. With 38 and 30. We saw a huge differential going on last time around with uh, Team Dog versus Sten is real. Where people just weren't, weren't knocking people out full. Seems pretty even. You're saying 6-6 six, six has the definite advantage going into I, ice? I know I've got some people disagreeing with it. Like Murky says, he thinks his opinion is going to be the opposite of what I said. So I, I really think 6-6 six, six is just going to stick it to him here. I think it's going to be pretty nasty. All right, well, going into ice, which is a classic. Oh, my Ooh. God. Parcher <laughs> in the kill console. One, two, three, three men. Panzer kill opening up right there on the part of the allied uh, allied but defense. Actually, all three of them got revived, too. So it's oh kind of misleading. God. That's a bad panzer shot, man. 
I mean, no, it was yeah. A great shot. Well, it was a just good... unlucky. Yeah, unlucky. Give. Wow. Yeah, Tweety, Tweety actually got revived and got the plan down, so. That's now amazing. They're going to try to get the flag here in just a couple seconds, I think. That's absolutely amazing. You see the dynamite ticking away over here at the service door. That's going to open up warehouse and allow for the short entry uh, into the documents. Ice, if you don't know it, if you're not familiar with it, it's more of a capture the flag kind of map. These guys, uh, Axis are on offense. They have to work their way forward, get into the upper tower, grab the documents and run them all the way back home to the communications tower. It is, uh, it's a relay race. It's a war of attrition, but wow, we're, we're seeing some solid access penetration going on in to warehouse. Nail and watching booty. Unload with Panzer. Gets one. h 2 is dead. Yeah. And we had Tweety over there, kind of near the tree area. We have the Panzer as far as the Parcher. He is set up and ready to shoot. They have not planted the seawall breach yet. And we have two allies running south trying to get that flag right now. Nice. Squiz gets shut down by Parcher. Only a one-man kill, but gets the job done. Warehouse is back in control of the allies. Oh, poor Max. Max got the flag. He ran right past Mirage. And then... <laughs> I was, I was wondering... And killed him. I caught up on that just in the nick of time. I saw this dead body sitting there as all the axes spawned around him. Of course, uh, the, the, the forward spawn flag is absolutely critical. Axes need to take control of it, raise the flag so they can spawn further ahead. They can avoid that whole killing fest in the tunnels. Going to see a Lieutenant Axis uh, come up here, try and do a little bit of spawn camping over here, calling airstrikes. Looks like it's not going to go down at all. Doesn't get any kills. Allied forces set up on the hill. Nail? What? What's yeah, going on, Yeah, offense-wise, they have, you know, three meds, two LTs, and Pudi's the Panzer. Sometimes on ice offense, they'll, you'll see them drop the Panzer altogether to get another airstrike uh, if, if things aren't working out, you know? Well, looks like 6-6 Axis offense is making a little bit of progress here in the warehouse. Jam makes his way on the mid, up the ladder quietly, walking his way up. Hopefully nobody saw him. I don't think anybody saw him. Let's get a lock off of him, peek around the corner. Yeah, nobody's around. No one's aware he's up here. Jam going to get the documents any second now. Objective's taken. Here he is. Let's just stay in free cam mode for a moment and watch him. They're aware he's got to be up here. Look, Roz and Mini working their way around the corner. They're going to try and stop him at station uh, or, or at tower number two. Where'd they go? He must be hiding. Jam. Yep. Sneaky guy at the bottom of the ladder. 6.20 on the clock. He does. He's got plenty of time. His team needs to take take control of warehouses, clear the path so he can run and regroup with his teammates. Otherwise, this guy's as good as dead. Nail. Yeah, we have Tweety clearing north right now. He's in the box room by himself. There's a LT on the ground, and he's got the go-ahead. So Jam just jumped into north. He's running. He's running. Oh, Panzer hits the back wall and doesn't even kill him. Objective secured. But then he came in and got him. Unfortunate. Documents are returned right now. 545 on the clock. Nail, I need to update the scoreboard real quick. You take it away. Yes, it is 2-0. to zero. We have 6-6 six, six retaking the flag here. Looks like they'd lost it for about one spawn there. So they all just spawned in again. And we've got... Looks like... Yeah, we got five people going north, and probably just one person guarding the flag there. And there's 6-6 six, six in the console, two of them tapping out, killing themselves to respawn back at the flag with an aggressive push now. Oxy wait, making his way straight on up. He's going to get gibbed out. Jam tries to get the revival. He's also shut down. These guys just cannot make any progress now uh, because Mini is doing work along with, looks like, Parcher holding the position by the service door. It's absolutely critical. Axis forces can breach this warehouse. That lets them get up the mid, upper, and then take control of the documents. You're going to see a little bit more action going on at the door. There's Tweety. Mr. Annoying himself works his way up, gets the revive. Here you go. Medic train. That's how it's done. Three Axis forces, six, six, four of them streaming in, taking control of the warehouses. And Nail, I think we're going to see another grab soon. Watch Jam. We may, but actually they lost the flag, so they are not going to have any reinforcements coming for a long time. Max is pushing south every single time. 
Um, he's kind of dueling off with uh, Mirage every time, but um, yeah, they keep losing it, and it's just that's 30 seconds off the clock pretty much every time you can do it. Really unfortunate right there. Every time you lose that flag, like you said, yeah, 30 seconds off the clock over there. Parcher saw him peek around the corner, tossed that grenade. Very nice job. Shuts down Mirage, but 6-6, uh, they're still able to take control of the warehouse. That's the first step in capturing the documents. Tweety. Oh, nasty. Ah, uh, Tweety trying to be sneaky. Not sneaky enough. He gets seen. Shot in the back. Still alive? Gibbed out by artillery. As Squiz goes in for the revive, that is just unfortunate. Yet another push for 6 6. Shut down. Maybe we should, uh, I think, you know, Homie requested it. We could listen in and see what they're doing. Homie, just for you. War Room 6 6. <laughs> Let's listen. Well, apparently. The 6 6 war room has crashed. Not for them, just for me. Let's flip it around. Let's take a listen to Roz while I recover and crack the code. Here's Roz. It's still like service door. Now I do. I don't think so. Alright, let's play, let's play mid then. Let's, don't go on north to swamp. That didn't, that didn't mid. Either. I'm gonna give it. Alright, push it. Jump dead. Let's try to. Death for a fifth one. Uh, one a flag, one a flag, love. One of them put us a fee on the gate. It's outside main door. It was Panzer at hatch. Panzer near no front door, door north. Yeah, he's up top now, mid. On top of me? Yeah, he's on me. Yeah, he's yeah. wounded. Nice. Oh, oh Panzer. Panzer be Panzer, yeah, Archer. Hatch. Winning out. Coming out. Yeah, Spawn ladder. Yeah. Spawn ladder. He's on mid, he's on mid. One get, yeah, he went up small on her. Alright, kill Jen. Squirrel's got he's it. Still on top, yeah. maybe small on her. It's squeeze, so. Oh, 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 there it is! One on mid. Gotta go stop, man. Squeeze shot in the back! Boosted by the enemy, that helps, but his position's been given away. Let's get out of the war room real quick. 6-6. Six, six. Squiz, the squirrel, the fastest man alive. He's also a medic. He's got two Axis forces, three Axis forces. He's regrouped with Nail, 137 on the clock. If this works, it'll be a time. Not a great time, but at least a time. Here's the reload. Squiz, watching the flank because his teammates are battling and doing some work up ahead in the tunnels. Around, he's going long. He can take his time, but he can't take too much time. Working to the half track. Avoid that allied airstrike. Wow. Almost got shot yeah. by his teammate's panzer. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. There he is, inside. No problem. He his way into the dock room. He scoozes yeah. his way I, in. I thought he was going to get a little rocket to the face there. <laughs> I thought so, too. He almost got hit. 8.55 on the clock right there. Let's take a uh, look at the you scores. Imagine? All right, Nail. What happened? Yeah, actually, um, Roz did a lot better than I anticipated they would. Uh, I mean, you can see Parcher had, you know, 14 kills, 14 gibs, uh, leading the way with the damage, of course, as the Panzer. Um, and on the offense side of things, we had, you know, Putty, Oxy, and Jam doing about the same damage numbers, but only like four kills there, seven kills there. It's, that's kind of rough when you're on offense. That's very rough. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this, man. 73 That's, kills, 48 you know, kills. It's one kill every two minutes, basically. Um, Now you're starting to see a slight difference in Gibbs. 51. I'm sorry. 33 Gibbs versus 15 Gibbs. Team Raw is actually uh, dominating over here. I think we're going to see our point. And if, if Raz keeps playing the way they are, if they can hold it and do well on offense... We might see Village on overtime. We'll see. Uh, don't tempt me. Yeah. <laughs> we got two engineers on offense. Oh, look three at buddy. Meds, one soldier. Double kill takes out the Panzer. Parcher, he's dead. And Max. Panzer v Panzer. 6-6, six, six, though. Shut oh, down. Maybe. Mini's going to get the first flag grab on the first push. That's critical. <gasps> Did he miss the reinforcement timer? Uh, they, they were already there. They... 
They got plenty of time. Ten seconds. Okay, there you go. My timer was still at attached to the uh, to the allied team over here. Flag goes down. Oh no! Oh, What's gonna happen? Archer. Okay, Roz, Archer. Looks like the flag was recovered in the nick of time. You got the fresh spawn. Archer's trying to capitalize on this. Cancels his Panzer shop because nobody's guarding the warehouse. Here he is. Fires. Squiz. Shut down. The fast man is dead. So if uh, if the documents get picked up right now. The fastest man alive cannot give chase. Parcher's going to get shut down because he's in a bad position. H2O up top. This is a grab. Yeah, this is easy. This is looking pretty bad for 6-6. Six, six. H2O up top. Going into the hatch ladder with the jump. Oh, he did going it right. Already. Oh, oh, no. Get oh, no. Don't get stuck <laughs> in the corner. Not good. That was about their only chance, I believe. I'm pretty sure he's going to be free and clear. This is going to be they fast. Will, they will probably escort him the entire way. You know, there's there's Parcher taking Squirrel out with a Panzer Faust. You know that's light years. That's miles away from where H2O is. He's he's bunny hopping. He's strafe hopping his way to the tower. There's not a chance that anybody could have set up shop in here and check it out. Allies successfully wow. beat the clock. Team Roz with their first point. Right here. Right now. One minute, 51 seconds. That hurts. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, that was one of the, the fastest rounds alive. <laughs> it really was. Um, I didn't expect it to be quite that quick. I mean, just looking at the 8.55 time over there for Team 6-6, yeah, they... I figured, yeah, you know, Roz has a pretty good shot at this. They should, by the numbers, take the score, take the point, but not by 151 on ice. That's unheard of. Yeah, they pushed a lot of people south right after, you know, Panzer shot, Parcher killed three. They respawned those three guys right away. They pushed and took over hill, and they had a big crossfire. You know, when you're on offense, you have the hill. Then you can really shoot across the way. And just, they got one person up top, and that's all they needed. So, the reset. Let's see if 6-6 six, six can, uh, can pick up their, their heels a little bit here. Again. Uh, maybe hold on past two minutes would be a good good thing. The Gibbs being a, a, a big differentiating factor on ice right here. Roz leading with 38 versus 18 Gibbs. You got to kill these guys all the way. You can't just kind of partially do it. Uh, we're now underway. Axis forces going to be Roz. Can they improve on that one minute 51 second time? That's the question. If it, if it happens, man, it's going to be 2 2 tie game. I guarantee you. Oh my gosh. That was. That yeah. would be rough. I yeah. mean, I've been on the receiving end. It's 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 not fun. But they have <laughs> Parcher and Mini pushing through the tunnels here. Parcher couldn't even get a shot off before he was killed and gibbed. Hey, by the way, I just just saw looking up fantasy. If you're still tuned in, shout out to Raz. Thanks for casting Sabo and Nail, and thanks for the donation. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, Cliff Swain also with a donation, five bucks. That, that guy's so cool. Not expected. Always appreciate it. Thanks. Back oh, in the we game. A, we actually had a three-man push without the flag. They pushed three people through north. One got taken out by a gun, and then Parcher kind of comes in the back, shoots two people, shuts them down. Flag is back up. Three seconds of the reinforcement timer over here. And Axis forces. Team Roz, they're in a good position to, to come streaming through the service door. You got one, two, three. I think four of them are going through the service door. Not if Putty has anything to do with it. The first two get melted by a Panzer Faust. Like Indiana Jones, man. The face just melts right off. <laughs> yeah, we have two people pushing for the flag. Tweety might get it. Here's H2O. See? Backing him up. Oh, he missed it. And they have the docks. All right, let's get a lock on Mini. Backed up by teammate H2O. He was spotted, though. Look at this. Oh, my God. Objective taken. What, what, what happened? Somebody died. Yeah, he got killed, but then there was another person right there. His H2O revived him, picked him up. They still have two people with the docks. Looks like, I think there's actually three guys coming out of ladders, dropping into the service door. Oh, this is ugly. This is ugly. They're going to make their way forward. However, Nail... The defense, 6-6, six, six, they've had enough time to set up a trap. Question is, did they do it? 
Yeah, uh, they're escorting him kind of like the president. One person in the front, one person in the back. Um, That's right. Raise the flags. We'll see. We'll see. Here's a two. I'm watching him. Document carrier. He's going to take the mid. Mini comes around. Pre-fires. I don't think anybody was there. Clock set. 252. Um, wow. That's going to be they're hard to beat. a minute slower. <laughs> A minute slower, but that's, that's still an that's incredible just crazy time. fast on ice. I mean, anything below three is, you know, it's almost you, you got it in the bag type deal. So, yeah, we, we definitely may be seeing Village in about three and a half minutes. It could happen. 2.52 on the clock. I mean, yeah, that's uh, the, the last time we saw 6-6 six, six on ice against this team was at the first half of the uh, round three. Setting a time of 8 minutes and 55 seconds. It's looking ugly. It's looking like it's going to be a tie. And I think everybody was off on their G-Bookie predictions over here. You guys are going to be losing some of your E-Money today. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> village village breaks souls. So, we'll see what could happen. 6-6. Six, six, oh, we have Mirage going to plant the door. Oh, Parcher. Not in my house. Panzer. Straight out of the flag room. Shutting these guys down. Allied forces getting a little aggressive. Pushing straight ahead. Uh, Dynamite's still going to get planted. But the flag remains in allied control. No one's guarding it, though. Oh, here he is. H2O. In the derp corner. Durka, durka, durka. No one's going to see me. Yeah, there's actually there's, there's no allies at it yet. But uh, Mini's coming in with a grenade primed. Well, I thought he was going to. He's He's tricking me. Okay, here comes. Here comes the axes with the flag grab. Five seconds left on the spawn timer. Somebody get that flag. Mirage touches it. Just in the nick of time. There's the entire team respawning. Now 6-6. Six, six. If you want a point, you've got to capitalize on that momentum and get into the warehouse. Nail, they did it. Can they get the dodge? And Parcher takes two out. Looks like they're not they're getting revived, though. So they have a full six-man force. Nobody even pushed south or covered the flag. We have Tweety on the middle deck. We have Squiz, middle deck, Oxy. They're getting up top. We have Squirrel up top, but he gets... Oh, he takes out. He takes out H2O. He is the only person up top right now. No one's even... Oh, we have Roz at the docks, but that's it. One person at the dock room. Jam, spawn ladder. Oh, Panzer. They, they still have something going, though. I mean, it's not over yet. All right, here's Oxy. And Squiz up top. Check it out. In fact, while we uh, while we wrap this round up, let me check. Did I get access? No, I did not get access. These guys have to physically move me into their war room. So I'm j I'm locked out of 6-6. Six, six. Sorry. Can't That's listen to them. That's it. A couple grenade kills. Ends the run. Oh, my God. There is H2O. There is Roz up top. Who gets credit for the kills, though? Tweety and Pooty shut down by Hosk and Parcher. Wow, Hosk doing work. Three-man kill right there. 6-6 six, six is just annihilated. 21 seconds remaining. Flag is in control of the Allies. That's it. Nail, we're going to see our first tie of the two-continent one-cup tournament. Right yeah, now. They, they, they took their chips and went pushed them all in on north, didn't even guard the flag. In consequence, yeah, they did lose the flag, but that was an amazing push. They they got up top, they just couldn't make it from the back ladder to the spawn ladder uh, quick enough. I mean, it was a great push, though. A great attempt. Quick rounds right here. Let's take a look at the scores. 6-6, uh, six, six, falling behind on ice. Maybe it's not, not their map. Maybe they're not as practiced on it. I don't know. But 33 kills to 51 kills. Kind of tells the story over here as we roll in to Village, the Breaker of Souls. Yeah, just uh, rough go of it there. I mean, um, Parcher and Max kind of leading the way with kills and Gibbs. 46 kills to 33 kills. Uh, Village being a completely different story. Make sure that you do the uh, the UI full screen one, by the way. Uh, that should be on unless unless Merle's thing messed you'll have it to, up. 
You have to usually do it every single time you load village. Strange. Here, let's clear this out too. Boom. There we are. Okay, RUA full screen one, and hopefully you guys watching the stream, you just let me know if this stuff's not working out all that well. Uh, we are waiting on players right now. I don't think anybody really expected it to be quite this close. T score, as you can see, is tied two and two with Team Roz really, really stepping it up right here, right now. Quick shout out to all you guys watching in channel. I'm sorry I'm not interacting, not chatting with you a whole lot. We're in the middle of a game. If you're wondering what the heck is going on, we are going into overtime right now. It's the second match in week one of the Two Continents One Cup tournament. This thing's going to be going on for the next nine weeks before we kick off the playoffs. This is classic Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's a game that's almost 14 years old. And yes, it's still being played. It's still very, very active. We have lots of stuff happening right here right now also want to give a shout out yes you can see the game on my stream on twitch.tv slant stable games also uh warwich tv is going to be covering some of these matches i know a lot of you guys are are from his channel i think he's actually hosted the the uh the channel my, my twitch channel for me so thank you if you guys are staying tuned and watching that he's going to be covering a little bit of it and merlinator is the primary source of coverage He's been inactive. He's actually been a little bit sick, and he's playing a game, uh, a scrim match, right now. Uh, but you can tune in. Check my channel out. I've got links to all their channels. And follow, follow, follow. That's all I can say right there. Nail, we're going into Village. It is known for being an epic, long war of attrition. There are so many different aspects of, of this match i mean you gotta breach the tavern you gotta raise the flag you gotta plant dynamite blow open the crypt then we go to the capture the flag pick up the gold run it to the truck six six versus team ross based on what we've seen so far who's gonna come out ahead who's gonna win this overtime i think it's gonna be six six i'm not waving really <laughs> i'm not wavering for my decision it's gotta be six six um i disagree yeah i don't know i mean I know that uh, this map, I really think the uh, the comms are important. You have to have you cut and clear comms, no no BS, no yelling and stuff. Just quick and concise call-outs, especially when you're running the documents. I mean, you have to check all these stupid little nooks and crannies that people hide in. That's the most annoying part of the map to me, is just oh, running the documents. Uh, but losing the flag, is it's a longer delay than 30 seconds on this map, so... Getting the flag and holding it is a real key point. See, I'm starting to change my mind, and I'm becoming a believer in Team Roz. And the reason I say this as they come streaming out of spawn over here is because this map has a lot more in common with ice than it does on base. You know, it's, it's all about multiple objectives and capturing the flag and all that sort of stuff, whereas base is basically a Counter-Strike map, right? Go to the bomb site, plant the bomb, blow up the bomb, end of story. This is the big relay race sort of thing, similar to Ice. If they can play the way they did on Ice, dude, Roz has this in the bag. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, we got first push coming right now, though. All you. I'm, I'm watching the defensive Panzer. Parcher comes in and shoots good two people. He got the Panzer. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that just opens up the door for this med push. You can see it. Just med revive, med revive. Very nice. Here's Max in the flank, takes the left route. No one's there to stop him. Check this out. We're going to see a flag grab on the first push. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's like, there's got to be at least five of them alive. Oh my God. Six. This Parcher is going to try to kill somebody in the cemetery. We already have an engineer spawned. Holding back. It's going to be H2O into the tavern, taps out. Goes for, uh, actually, Elsa's going to take over as the engineer. Kind of weird, I guess. I guess maybe that was a last minute, like, hurry up, somebody be an engineer. They wanted to seize the momentum. Carpe diem, seize the day. Isn't going to happen, though. Axis forces have plenty of time to set up their cemetery defense. Yeah, and we're back to the slow, the long slow of it. They're pushing up Billy. the crypt ladder right now, but Tweety saves the day for a moment there with the double grenade kill. The allies should be spawning in right now. Yeah, they're coming through the cellar. 
probably see a couple airstrikes get tossed out here That's just trying to pick off people. Absolutely critical. See, Cheeky Dynamite being planted over there by Tweety. This <laughs> Tweety is the most annoying RTCW player ever. I think we can just officially say that. Um, check it out. I mean, it's it's going to be a while, I think, until until these guys are able to penetrate the base and do anything. Uh, they, they got oh, my it. God. Oh, my God. We got a Dynamite plant already. Engineer, engineer He's dead. should be coming up the ladder soon. I bet you he gets killed by the Dynamite. <laughs> That, yeah, that, wouldn't that just be the way it works? Here's <laughs> here's Tweety, though. Look at this, 6-6. Six, six. They have an engineer ready, just in case he pushes up. Sneaky. I like the way this guy plays. Look at him. Using cover. Very smart. Nice 3v1 situation. Shuts him down. That's the end of the push. Okay, let's jump back up here. Check it out. You've There's got couple, the A couple of good pushes on Raz's side of things. They've been doing a great uh, six, job. Six, just killed out so they're kind of they're playing the spawn the spawn kill as well i mean they're they're pushing up into the cellar and killing out and tossing nades putty's set up on the mg barricade just waiting to shoot either left or right ladder nice action going on right here i mean look at this there's really only two routes of entry uh under normal circumstances for the allies and they need to get an engineer up this way it's so easy to push so you need to you need to throw out airstrikes and maybe get some lucky grenade kills to clear out these guys. You're going to see these airstrikes coming down. And hopefully they can knock out a few of these guys. Give them out so they can make a little bit of penetration into the crypt. Got to plant the dynamite before you can steal the gold. Nail, here comes the push. Yeah, they actually, they might get a plant down here. He's oh, tossing oh, the dynamite. There he is. Yellow. Yes. He gets it. Yep. Really, really close there. The axes are spawned in already, though, and we do have an engineer of Tweety still. Oh, no. Taken out by the support fire. Not Gib, though. He's in the corner, I believe. All he needs is a medic. I don't think anybody can get to him, though. That's the problem. Jam. Jam doesn't even want to revive him. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're Who needs teammates? Down. Who needs an engineer <laughs> when the dynamite is ticking away over there? Look at this. Allies. They got two of them just kind of holding down the fort. H2O is going to grab the documents or the, the the gold, whatever you want to call it. Drops down. He's a medic backed by uh, backed up by at least one teammate working his way through the wine can we, cellar. Uh, can we get their war room or do I we think, have it now? I think uh, we've got Roz. Let's take a listen to Roz. Okay. My I asked I went back to Southwest. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I could buy him. Take it. Take it, Max. Max, Max, take it. Okay. Watching Pootie with the Yo, Panzer. To me, LTs. Yeah. I'm going. I'm that. going medic after this. Sorry. The south here. What? We're coming to southwest. No, we're coming. Are they set up? Yeah. One swole, check swole, corners. Swole, check think, corners. Uh, and on the right side. Reminder: check corners. We're in southwest. There, He's right side. There's... He's right side. So that. Boom! Panzer's down. On to the left. Oh no. Oh, this is go bad. Back. This is bad. Let's go back. Good call. The two v one. Oh what? Fuck! There's also one. Oh, oh, and out of war room. <laughs> well, he he verbalized what I was thinking. <laughs> the old axe is pincher. Mirage goes through the tavern, skips the flag, comes right behind him when there was one person yep. left. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But you know what? And 6-6 six, six just got the flag as well. They have the documents with H2O and Mini. But they know that they have to be. Careful. Somebody's at the uh, flag. Oh, H2O shut exactly. down by a grenade. Putty, I don't know where Putty even was. I think he tossed it from the wine cellar, uh, but I'm not sure. But Jam came up the ladder, returned it after killing one more, and they're oh, all set boy. up in the cemetery, and they have the flag. That's so unfortunate. Somebody, who was that? That was uh, El Sahosk marching forward. He's being annoying. He's taking the credit from. Tweety over here pushing up, trying to be uh, disruptive as possible. Not really going to work. Gets into a 2v1, 3v1 situation. Max in the tavern, shut down by Jam. And 6-6 six, six is kind of stretching their legs and uh, pushing up, kind of resetting the game with that tavern defense. Look at this. The medic packs are going down. These guys are going to make a positional take and hold on to the tavern. This is this is huge. I mean, at this point, yeah. the game is reset. In public chat, I'm not... I'm, I could probably pronounce this right. It's B 
Ben Wellhard and Het Proberan Jidge Hey. So, whatever that means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Eli Manning Giants, by the way, thanks for the follow right there. That's awesome, man. Much appreciated. Love the follows. If you like what you're seeing, you like Return to Castle Wolf Time, want to see more of this tournament, give me a follow and also go to the bottom. Give Merlinator, give Warbridge TV a follow. That's where all the coverage for Two Continents, One Cup is going to be. Right now, we're looking at Allies, uh, one guy, RQZ apostrophe, no name, makes his way forward. Who is that? Who's, who's name? I think that's Viz. Viz? Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Viz, backed up by Elsa, trying to come the they, spawn they route. The flag. That was just a distraction. It's a very good distraction. They worked their way up the cemetery trying to... You know, either be a distraction or get sneaky. And it worked. H2O. Oh, they're going to go spawn. I guarantee. Nope. Axis Force is just now respawning. They've got enough time to get set up. The, the trap will be set. Allied Forces, at least three, four of them working their way through Tavern. Five of them. H2O with the documents. Here he goes. They keep giving it to H2O. He seems to be the fastest player. He's the, he seems to be the best one at strafe jumping and working his way forward. He's going to hang back, watching the flank. He's not going to let that happen to him again. Max doing some work, taking the courtyard. Tweety's last guy left alive, trying to be annoying. Lieutenant backed up by Oxy. Two versus two over here. Looks like the allies are going to try to fall back. Yeah, h duo. Playing it smart. Hiding in the corner. Nail with 113 on the clock. What do you do? See, I would have been, I would have kept on running even further than he went because <laughs> he's the only person there. This so is a terrible spot. In. Yeah, they just spawned in. He's gonna get a lot of backup here, and they really. I mean, a minute is a long time to push, but it's only gonna be like one or two quick attempts here. Now, they have to take over southwest, and they got Putty standing right there, just waiting, waiting. Oh, there it is. He gets a two man. Oh, there's Tweety. Good lord, Putty, though, with the two-man Panzer Faust. Backs it up with the Luger. He did not need Tweety with the uh, the crossfire one bit. Putty says, relax, guys. I got this. H2O, 30, <laughs> 32 seconds on the clock. He's got maybe one more good uh, good push. His teammates are going to go forward. They need to take he's, the Panzer. He's got to go. It's, it's now or never. Panzer's fired. Takes many out. Got to go. YOLO. Got to go. All right, here we go. Backed up. Looks like a two-man push over here, H2O. He's got it. Ten seconds on the clock. Running, running. You've got to get a time set. Five, four, three. There you go, H2O. 9.56 set on the clock. Well, it's something. That's better than ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> better I mean, than ten minutes. Any, any time is better than not setting one at all, because at least you know that it can't be a tie round. You're either going to win a point uh, by holding, you know, or you, you're you not, you're not obviously, but it's better than no time at all. Absolutely. I, I was getting worried about that for Team Roz. If they get full held, then, I mean, what do you do? There's no way you can get a point in that first overtime round. 9.56, that means there's a chance. Yeah, so you're telling me there's a chance. I did not think he was gonna make it, but when I they spawned either. a couple people from the uh, the truck, instead of waiting them waiting on them to come from the tavern, you know, from the truck is much quicker. They actually you know kind of came in from behind, and uh, that's that's what cleared the way. That one person in the south tower though had a chance, but just couldn't down him in a two or four. to fight. Uh, quick shout out to J Legs, Ping Rage, and Llama, L Sixma, Llama. For giving me a quick follow over there. Thank you. Appreciate that. Here's the score rundown real quick. 48-66. 66 coming out ahead on the kills. Not surprising. They run defense and they did a great job. 13.1 damage given to 10.2 damage given. Uh, but that's only the first half right there. Anything can happen with 6-6 six, six on offense. Streaming ahead. Nail, it looks like it's going to be a tavern push through the door of death. It is, but... Hoodie is an engineer, and he's actually in the central courtyard. So, it might be a split. Four Ooh. and two. Oh, let's get a lock on this guy. Oh, he's walking. Sneaky. He's got Elsa Husk in front of him. 
playing the lieutenant, just covering short. So he's waiting on him to run out and kill out, probably. Yep, there it is. And Viz, I don't know if my donations are showing up or not, but Viz, uh, thanks. That's a nice $2 donation. Because you're a sad nerd, you hate all the maps. Great shot. Okay, I don't think you're a sad nerd at all, but okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's awesome. It's kind of like a little mini game between uh, Elsa Husk and Putty, and Putty gets taken out by the artillery. He probably didn't even know he was standing there. 6-6. <laughs> Streaming into the tavern right now. Let me check, see if they move me into their war room. Yet. Oh my goodness, we got it. We can crack the code. Tuning in, 6-6, six, six, allies on offense. Just shot to middle room. Nice. Yeah, I can believe I've also. Nice shot, go. Oh. So How many of tavern. them are geeked? Four. Four in tavern. Don't kill them. Wait for spawn, at least. Good calls. I mean, they're calling the positions just right. Killed one and I got out. That's the guy who plays on the right side. Yeah. Huddy wipes Max out. But the rest of the team is back at spawn. Yeah, they don't have even ammo right now. Just go into the yeah, right. Just go, go in fast. Go just to the right. Uh, one is on the left. Fuck. It's a medic. They don't yeah, have a panzer. Oh, right. Just run into the right. Can you me? Oh my god, oh, Parcher! Oh, failed. Uh, you fucking idiot. You can still do it. <laughs> Try it here. Yeah, They're getting close now. Did you hear that now? Oh yeah. <laughs> they don't have ammo. Well, <laughs> turns out the Panzer did. The 6-6 six, six war, I don't know what happened, but it is silent in there. So we've either lost the connection with them, or uh, they're feeling pressured. Parcher doing work right there. Shuts down Tweety, shuts down Oxy with a single Panzer shot. That's how you hold down the tavern. Look at this setup over here. I mean, Parcher's in there. They got a lieutenant. Grenades dropping all over the place. The door of death is not where you want to be if you're the allies. Here's Squiz. Squirrel running fast as can be. Goes left. That's where two Axis soldats are standing. 2v1. Oh, gosh. And then Parcher finishes up with a two-man kill. Shutting the rest of the team. Nail, that was a bad push. It was. I mean, let's let's be honest. It was a horrible push. Uh, one person ran in. Two people were about 20 feet away from him. If he had just held up for like a two seconds, they would have had a three people push consolidated. They got three people going tavern right now. Two meds and a panzer. So I'm assuming the other three are trying to push short. Yeah, yeah. we have Jam and Oxy going through the water right now. Yeah, problem is Axis are expecting it over here. I think that was Elsa. Shutting one of them down. The problem is, even though the allies streamed through, they got uh, they got the intel. Axis forces, enough of them tapped out to oh, mount a over defense. Tavern, but no. Check it out, though. Oh, Oxy. Close. Oxy made it past. He's going to drop down into the wine cellar. That might be... So is Squirrel. Might be just enough of a distraction to the Axis. Uh, they know they're there. They know they're there. Yeah, but here's what I'm saying. Even if they don't get the flat... Oh, uh, no. The rest of the team is out of position. That could have been such a great play. I mean, you get the guys who sneak around the corner and distract the defense. You force them to back off and lighten up that tavern defense. Then your guys hit the tavern hard. Break it down. And it just didn't work out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lag. They were still there, else? but they got taken out slowly but surely. Uh, Parcher is set up again. He's been getting some great shots on the, like, right at the tavern door and even just poking out and shooting outside. Um, the allies do have the flag, but they don't spawn in for a while, so I would imagine the Axis will probably retake it here. You know, Merck's in. Ha! Parcher MVP Panzer 2015. You know what? He is. Look at this. 23 kills over here. He's doing serious, serious work, and you know what? Parcher has to be the Panzer, because keep in mind, uh, these are two European teams, and Parcher is in central United States. The ping tells the, the, the story right there, 145. And with the RTCW netcode, uh, you know, a 2001-2002 era netcode, uh, it, it hurts. It is hard to play on that kind of a ping right there. So, you know, good choice of weapon, and frankly, good job, guy.
Yeah, it looked like the offense push just got shut down. Jam tossing out tons of grenades. Just trying to hold off the Panzer, and he did. Parcher was pushed up trying to get a kill. So they know the Panzer's out. They've really got to clear out with some airstrikes here. Well, got a short and a long going off at the same time. Oxy gets one. Oh, lots of TKs going on, too. Wow. That's 6-6 uh, six, six wiping their own team out. Two TKs. Squiz and Putty. Shoot, taking each other down. I, I don't know what that was yeah, all about. Yeah, I don't about. think those were TK revives either. No. Look at this, though. 6-6 six, six, Squiz takes control of, uh, not Cemetery, but of, of Crypt over here. He's got the position. All we need is an engineer now. Here it comes, right now. Let's get above. Dynamite Jam. planet. Oh, Jam Ooh. shut down. Who is that? Sneaky, sneaky axes. That's going to be mini. Shut him down, but that's all right. Revives. The dynamite's going to be yeah, planted. Yeah, actually was the second engineer. Oh, that's what happened, buddy. Nice. No engineer around for the Axis forces. I don't think they're going to tap out. they got 27 seconds to go. So that pretty much seals the deal. The dynamite will detonate. We're going to see this crypt blown wide open. Allies dropping uh, airstrikes all over. They just want to make sure that no Axis are around. They can hold on to the position as best as they can. Here's Tweety doing a little bit of revive, setting up for a quick document grab. There it is. Tweety picking it up. Get the heck out of there as fast as possible. Not going to happen. He tried. That's Raz, uh, no name, Vaz. With the kill and a return. Nerd. A good hold so far. I mean, 2.30 on the clock, 6.6. <laughs> six. Jam looking at the documents. He wants to grab it. He wants to grab it. But they lost the flag, so he's going back, trying to get it. Who's he going to run into here? Got an engineer spam or something going on. Homie in chat saying, uh, will be close. Yeah, I agree. This is this is going to be really yeah. tough. Keep in mind, score, as you can tell by that fancy scoreboard, is 2-2. Two and two. Roz barely set a time of 9.56. Doing a great job of holding it off, though. Look at this. Documents are picked up, and I think they're going to go down. Where did they go? Where did they go? Uh, He's going down the cemetery ladder right now. Oh, the there side. he is. Oh, nice. So he goes down cemetery ladder, sneaky. The long way, the, the dangerous way. The Mines of Moria passage. 6-6 six, six jam. I think he's all alone, though. This is really, really bad. He's going to go into the little derp corner. Regroup but he was set up for a spawn kill. He gets one. Mirage's artillery gets two. So that's three out four. They know there's only three people on defense right now. This is really good. Look at this. Jam, two make people. his way forward. Is there a trap? Is there a trap? No. No. No one's there to oh, challenge him. Allies win. Yeah, it was nasty. Wow. 8.42. 6 6. Barely. Barely eking out ahead. It was the, the spawn camp pretty much set up by Putty and Mirage really sealed the deal. Let me update the scoreboard and nail. Tell us, uh, tell us what you're seeing in the scores. Uh, scores wise, we have Parcher leading the way, 29 kills, followed up by Viz with 25, Max with 21, three people over 20, and um, it was 119 kills for Roz versus 104 on 6-6. Leading the way for them, it was Mirage was 23 and Squiz with 20. And Gibbs heavily out favored for Roz, uh, about 18 more. It's very interesting. Even though the point goes to 6-6, six, six, it seems like Team Roz is actually playing a little better as far as the shooty-shooty part of the game goes. Uh, well, actually, all those Gibbs are probably Parcher. <laughs> you know, they probably will. They, they, they yeah, probably were. Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Because <laughs> he's working, he's doing work with the Panzer over there. I, I'm not seeing a whole lot of work on the part of Putty over here. I mean, he's a good Panzer, but. Well, Panzing on offense, on the village, is a little bit rough. I mean, you, it, it's you tough to get, go up a ladder yeah. with a rocket, you know. You gotta basically um, get that quick entry frag or, or, or bust. Uh, Sergeant Donut, or, by or the way. Or maybe go spawn kill him or throw an airstrike instead as a lieutenant, yeah. What happens if Roz wins village again? Yeah, Merc, uh, as Merlin is saying, the way, the uh, the rules in two continents, one cup state, 
Uh, we go into overtime. It is a full ABBA overtime with two rounds. You see that in the scoreboard. And then it is a AB sudden death round if it ties up once again, which actually very well could happen. I mean, this thing is dragging on. And with a tiebreaker map of Village, it's the double full hold map. I mean, we it, this is what happens. We get ties. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks like, I mean, every every week, there's the tiebreaker map, which is, you know, overtime for us, and then there's a sudden death map, which actually, every single week, the sudden death match map is the exact same. So, if this goes on to sudden death, it's it's still village. It's still village, it still takes But it's forever. only one round, it would not be two rounds at that point. Waiting on two more players to ready up right now, it is Squiz and... We think it's Vaz, Roz, Mr. No Name. Viz, Unnamed. Viz. Viz, Viz, not Vaz, Viz. Um, I think there is another player named Vaz or Viz. There is, that's S, where, so. yeah, that's why, that's why I keep getting mixed up. I'm like, oh, Vaz, of course, I know him. No. Um, anybody's game, it's looking like it's slightly in favor of Team 6-6 six, six taking the win. However, times have not been impressive right here on MP Village. To Prepare to fight. Nail. Here we go. Offense. Allied force is going to be team 6-6. Six, six. Going now. Are they going 6? Yep. 6 medics. I mean, a no lot of these Panzer. people have really great pistols, so it doesn't even matter when they run out of ammo for the most part. No Panzers. I mean, a big part of Village is getting that entry frag with a massive Panzer kill. As you step into the tavern, they're they're just gonna forego that. They're relying on their grenades. They're relying on their 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 um shooting. In favor of the medic train, Parcher, only only taking out one. Here we go. Grenades all over the place. Medics are not quite out full. However, Viz gonna stick them with the knife, taking these guys out full. Squiz hanging back in the courtyard. I don't really know why he's still that far out. We have two people still alive, though. We have Mirage and Squiz. Kind of tavern. Yeah, Parcher just shot and killed out. So we have Max and H2O. Defending, dying, defending. Are they going to hold it or not? Oh, no. Look at this. Revive, revive, <laughs> revive. Squiz, I think he's the last man standing. Finally goes down. You know what? He's there. able to hold the position. Oh, no, he's got backup now. He held the position just long enough for the rest of the team to, to flow in. That's nice. You don't have to worry about breaching that door of death. It allows his teammates in. These guys did their job. They, they just took a position. They held the position. And they were distracting just long enough for Oxy to come in. Grab the flag. Now allied forces are able to spawn ahead and start seriously pushing on the cemetery. 6-6. Six, six. Ready to switch to engineer mode. Nail. Yeah, and I thought that um, Mirage was going to go for the flag, but with four seconds left on his respawn timer, uh, or no, 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 sorry. He, he went to the flag and killed by Parcher, though, so they're pressuring the flag a little bit. We got airstrikes going off. Actually, one got blocked by Mini. That was a good block. Three people, Crip Ladder, two people still alive, Engineer LT. Oh, uh, they, yeah, just too much damage. They had to kill out, didn't want to go out full. So there should be another another stream of allies coming in soon. Spawn times are really similar, though, which is kind of tough on village. Tough on offense, at least. You know, it's edge for the uh, defense. Check it out, Jam, right now. No one's... No extra soldiers are sitting here holding their guns right on top of that ladder, and that's that's a real problem right here because, uh, you know, it, it's the easy way. It's the easy way to get a little pick over here. You just hold your gun, one position, shoot the guy in the face. Engineer comes in, plants the dynamite, but Parcher's already spawned over here. He gets detonated, revived. That might really hurt his chances. Yeah, gets shot again. Tweety annoying the guy. I think, yeah, yeah, Engineer's dead. Dynamite's going to detonate right here. Allies in full control. No, they're not. Axis Force is in full control. They know they're not going to get the defuse. They're not going to sacrifice an Engineer for that. Crypt is blown. Gold is exposed. They have, 
they have a spawn camp set up by Oxy. And oh, nice. Can I get anybody? Maybe, maybe. It he kills his two. Oh, this is good. Two out full. Six, six. If they can take the documents or the gold right now, like now, nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> now, <laughs> Bueller. Oh Bueller. man, they, great spawn kill, but just. Could oh, that was such a great play. I mean, Oxy could have won the game right there for six, six, but his team just wasn't in position. The spawn timer was not in their favor. 6-6 six, six now setting up. Jam trying to get up top, however. Viz is holding that hard angle at the ladder. Shoots him in the face. Medic trains are, are bounding for 6-6. Six, six, working their way forward. Here's Tweety. Picks up the documents. Just detonated by Parcher's Panzerfaust. As we move into our first timeout. All right, apparently TeamSpeak's down. TeamSpeak is down for multiple people. Uh, looks like the, the, the Crossfire TeamSpeak's actually shut down. We've lost Nail. We've lost uh, Team Roz. Team Roz has lost all of their comms. That's, uh, that's bad. So while we try to resolve all these TeamSpeak issues, both the casters and the teams... We're going to sit here in timeout. The score is currently three and two. We are in round two of overtime on Village. With the Allied Forces, Team 6-6, six, six, attempting to set the clock as quick as possible. I'm going to go to the FK screen. I'll be right back very soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tired of getting out-sniped, out, out and out-chained every time you go outside? Don't you just hate those guys? Don't play a hate, retaliate with the all-new and improved AutoAim.cs. That's right, now you can hit those insane mid-airs and two-mile snipes every single time. AutoAim.cs. Get yours today. Available from rehack stores everywhere. So baby, drive. Soldier, the team Sportscast Network brings you RTCW. Oh, I wish Otto would stop that awful racket. Here on TSN, we examine some of the most dangerous creatures known to man. Here you see the wild-eyed Axis Lieutenant from Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, he's a fierce one, ain't he? When he gets agitated, he throws a smoking grenade right at your face. Most dangerous. But, like most lieutenants, he's not really that dangerous when it comes down to hand-on-hand -to -hand combat. He's really kind of a pussycat when it comes to something like that. Be sure to keep it right here on TSN for all your wildlife updates. Tonight, Das TSN brings you... Alright, guys, 
back in action. We got the team speak issues uh, resolved. Timeout has been uh, uh, rescinded. And Nail, are you here? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, good, good. All right. That was weird. Team speak crashed. All sorts of crazy stuff happened. And uh, check this out, man. 6-6. Six, six. Somehow, yeah, some got way. The docks. Yeah, Squiz. They got a really good push going on, uh, Nail. You've been watching this. I've been resolving tech issues. What's going on? There are three axes on defense in Southwest right now. And all the allies trying to get through the L turn, the S turn, whatever you want to call it. They're trying to get through that doorway out. Does exactly. But there's only like two of them right now. They're probably going to start spawning some people in at the allied truck to come from behind. But, uh, yeah, Mirage is actually, he's that guy. So he's a lieutenant spawning in the truck. Oh, there's Trying one. to make some noise. Putty clears one out. Elsa hook shut down. Looks like the courtyard's in full control of Team 6-6 over here. So you're going to see the documents, the gold, making its way a little bit Ooh. further ahead. Parcher. Oh, nice. Double suicide panzer kill. Gold's still in control of Mr. Squiz hanging out in the courtyard waiting for his teammates. He's only got to go around, what, one more corner and then the long run to the truck. He's going to back up, though. Play it safe. No need to go super speedy and risk losing the gold and therefore getting full health in all likelihood in overtime. Yeah, we have Parcher being annoying with the Panzer. I don't even think he saw him. Like, I don't think there's... They're staring right at each other, but I don't think they see each other. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Long range grenade by Squirrel takes out Parcher. They're taking South Tower right now. We have Squiddy. Roz. Oh, they're just... It's a battle of the attrition right now. All right, here we go. I think, go ahead. I think we're going to see it right now. Yep. Path is cleared, gets shot in the back, and that only helps the guy out by pushing him up ahead. That's Squiz, fastest man alive, around the corner. 7.32 on the clock by Team 6-6. An improvement on their last time by about a minute. Looking really good right now for 6-6 to take the victory as they're already leading. Leading 3-2. and two. Yeah, there was a lot of times I really thought the document gonna get killed because he was kind of, you know, he lost his he lost his uh, escorts kind of by himself, running back a little bit. Parcher was staring basically right at him, but just didn't see him behind the pillar. So I mean, it was close, but uh, they almost returned it. That is, but yeah, no faster time. Let's see if Roz has learned anything and uh, see if they can actually cap faster than four seconds left on the clock. Absolutely. I mean, look at the scores right here. It's only the first half of uh, the second overtime round over here, so it's going to be a little uneven, unfair, perhaps, distribution, but you're seeing 50 kills total for the Axis team of 6-6, six, six, for the Allied in that uh, case, and uh, 55 kills for Team Roz over there. Warm up. Yeah, pretty even, to be honest. The only thing that stands out to me is that uh, um, Twitty and Elsa Husk don't know how to give, apparently. Wow, zero and zero. That's a problem. I mean, in RTCW, when you when, when you kill somebody, they're not quite dead. You know, a medic can always revive. You got to finish the job. A couple more bullets, knife them, do something, or else the medic train is going to run over you like a steamroller. Here we go. 6-6 six, six, and Team Roz. Roz going to be allied. They have to beat the clock or else they lose all together they're playing for the sudden death overtime right now it's entirely possible let's see what they can do jam making some good work at the doorway there the allies are slowly streaming in though we have three allies still alive trying to get the flag they're gonna get it parcher kills them but they spawned in right away do they have an engineer or not they do elsa husk Max actually spawned at the truck for some reason. Green light, yellow light, whatever you want to call it, it's going to get planted. Oh my goodness. Dude, I'm like totally unaware. I don't I don't even realize this is happening. This is insane. Three-man spawn kill from the gate. I mean, it's looking good for a good push here. Uh, I think we're going into sudden death. That's what I think. Look at this. They did lose the flag, so that's a key point. 
That is a key point. Yes, that basically resets the game if the Axis can set up a pretty solid defense over here. Look at this, though, Mini. For Roz, he's, he's just going to hang out back here. I don't think anybody's aware of his position. He's going to work his way forward. Grabs the gold, and that is the game changer right there because I think the Axis... Oh, nope. Somebody knew about it. Here comes Tweety. Yeah, here. Three axes. Oh, oh Panzer! Kill him before he can even get downstairs. Oh, Panzer! That was putty. <laughs> objective secure. Shuts him down. Objective secure. Oh well. Good yeah, night. saving saving grace would have been at least getting downstairs. But even though I say that, there was six six in the wine cellar just waiting on him. Wow, this is a really good game. Like seriously, I th I was fully expecting like a four zero, possibly a three one. I did not expect to be in overtime right here. And the, the way these guys are playing, like big, big plays for both teams, very evenly matched. I'm loving it, man. 6-6, six, six, squiz, holding down the four, peeking down the wine cellar. Oh, here comes somebody, shot in the face, H2O. Yeah, he's not good though, is he? Yeah, he is. Squiz tries to pick up the spare. Not gonna happen, because somebody came up cemetery ladder, shoots him in the back, and the gold is in the possession of the allied forces. Briefly. Yeah, long range panzer made them actually have to backtrack a little bit. Pooty going down the cemetery ladder, trying to go from behind. He gets him with the grenade, but it gets picked up. Oh, H2O saves the day by grabbing the documents. He's got the flag getting pressured. 17 seconds. Okay, so it's clear for now. 17 seconds to the reinforcement timer. Uh, so more teammates could spawn behind him. They're just going to go for it, though. Look at this. Plenty of time, oh, though. They're spawn camp in the. Uh, their spawn camp and the Axis defense. Oh, this has got to be frustrating right now for Team Sick 6. I mean, oh, oh, nobody's here. Nobody's set up. This is going to be an easy, easy run. Look at this. H2O. Nobody's there to stop him. Couple shots in the back. Clear path. Wow. Allies. Roz beating the clock. That's our tie. We're going to sudden death. 328. Wow. Well... Nail, welcome back to casting. <laughs> there was three axis. As soon as he had turned the corner, about 15 yards out, they turned the same corner. You saw the bullets fly. One pegged him in the back, but they didn't even see him round the corner. So they probably still thought he was in southwest. He was already halfway to the truck. And, <laughs> yeah, sudden death incoming. Crazy, crazy game. That is absolutely insane. I'm going to pull down the scores real quick. We have a three versus three or a three to three tied game at the end of overtime on Village. I mean, if, you look, if you look at the scoreboard there, since round three, yeah, I mean, they've had 151, 252, 328. Granted, two different maps, but just incredibly fast times or incredibly slow times. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. This is crazy. There, there's absolute inconsistency going on um for team Roz, but hey you know what it's working they've been able to tie up the game and uh force a sudden death over time sudden death in two continents one cup is a single round um uh, a b uh a b round right so the first person to get a point yeah wins how can you say that a little clearer because i have no idea what i'm saying <laughs> yeah, so it's it's not going to be, you know, play Village twice. They're going to play one stopwatch round. Uh, right. So one stopwatch round. Hopefully it's not a full hold, as Murky says in chat there. Oh, my Jinxing God. us. It's Village. It is Village. You never know. Oh, no. So, yeah, right. last time Raw's on offense, they had, you know, five meds, one Panzer. This time they have four meds, Panzer, and Engineer. So they're hoping to get a quick plant from somebody. It's interesting how they're switching it up. I mean, it worked last time, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why would you change? Watch Invis, though. I think he's going to lead the charge here. Hanging back. Ducks into the corner. Probably going to probably gonna lead with Parcher's Panzer. Couple of pot shots. Trying to trick the Axis Panzer into firing. Shots exchanged. Grenades. There's the Panzer oh, Parcher. 6-6 wow. six, six is in trouble. Look how many look how many of these guys in the console just lit up. 6-6. Six, six. The most Shut important down. thing is he killed Puddy every single time. He's getting him. Boom. 
Roz is setting up to win this thing. Flags in their control. Axis in the in the wine cellar. Oxy shut down, but he did slow him down. Maybe just enough for the uh, for the Axis forces to set up the cemetery defense. Yeah, jam at cemetery ladder. Peeking down, drops down. Risky, ballsy. One second taps out, going for the respawn. Nail. Yeah, I'm watching Putty set up in the exact same spot again, just on that little uh, MG barricade. He's waiting. We have all the axes set up on defense. Uh, airstrikes coming out. Both actually short. Two people out already. Three people out from airstrikes. That's a green light if you're on offense. Three people get killed, you push. Here they come. Got Elza Husk, engineer. It's four allied forces up top. Elsa. Look, I think they have two engineers, don't they? No, just one. Elsa. Trying to get the lock on him. Airstrike on the gate right away, delaying those axes from coming back in. Here we go. Lock on the engineer. You see the red light. Crypt is going to be blown any second now. Do the axes have any engineers? Are they even going to try? Yeah, they do. They did, but he got killed. Yeah, they were running a two-engineer defense over there, just hoping to stop it. I mean, they've got to stop this. This is sudden death, guys. Score tied 3-3. Three to three. Whoever does this village round in the fastest time wins the game. This is critical, man. This is absolutely critical because not only do uh, wins count, but round oh, wins no. count, too. So, like, it's... Get your lock on, Putty. Oh, let's get a lock. There we go, buddy. Oh, no. Look at that patience. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, he only takes out one, vaporizes himself. The Doc's still in control of Team Roz. That was going to be huge. And then it wasn't. Oxy, though, look oh, at this guy. Jam. Yeah, that was J Oxy and Jam set up in the courtyard. I think, uh, I think Roz was just a little bit too confident, expecting that no one would be in the, the courtyard. Oxy reclaiming the flag over here for 6-6. Six, six. That's bad news. The documents are actually dead. Were they actually returned, though? That's the question. Uh, no, they're just laying on the Oh, ground. they're right there, yep. But yeah, no, I actually, I watched, besides that lieutenant, two medics ran past Pudi. He just sat there in the tavern. <laughs> is unfortunately vaporized himself but axes are all set up again on defense we have two of the allies max and mini no three max mini and viz all pushing short while the other three are pushing for the flag through tavern wow here's max they got the docks look at max set up at, 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 at axis spawn i'm not watching the document carrier right now i'm watching what's going on at axis spawn lots of spawn raid going on over here more of them shut down. This is great. The Axis forces are completely held up, stuck at their spawn, which means H2O should and ought to be running full speed. He's going to go through Cemetery to Axis spawn. Well, they know the timer. They know what's going on. But they're not going to capitalize on it. Nail, was this a mistake? I'm not sure. He was spotted. They knew he was at the ladder still. Just kind of leaning at the ladders. Um, Jam might spot him right here. Yep, Jam spots him, but take, okay, takes him out. So that ends that push. That was close, though. He, he got his helmet ripped off right when he ran around the corner. Yeah, I was watching those two guys hanging out, just destroying the Axis forces right out of spawn. It seemed like the gold could have been run all the way through Tavern, uh, you know, may, maybe dealing with a single Axis soldier. And it... Or just straight. Oh, we got a Panzer set up here. Where? There it oh. is. The spawn camp is real. Actually, Parcher playing a medic right now. He's not Panzing anymore. 6-6 six, six was trying to play a dirty game right there, holding on to that first long street coming out of Allied Spawn over there. Lucky for Team Roz. They took control, charged up ahead. But with the flag in full possession of the Axis, we've, we've essentially seen a game reset. Allies have to push through the tavern, but the Axis are set up once again. Not a strong defense, though. It's only about too strong. But when you get a Panzer yeah, with, like Pootie, that's all you need. Without nailed. a Panzer on offense, they're actually doing a great push. Viz and... Actually, just Viz now. Viz is at the flag, revives Mini. Mini's at the flag. 
tries to jump and get it. Max gonna revive him and grab the flag for the next respawn. Which is a while though. It's gonna be yeah. 20 seconds. I gotta hold it. That's terrible. I mean, three minutes, 57 seconds on the clock. You just lost 30 seconds and you might've lost a lot more because Hoodie comes in, retakes the flag for the Axis forces and you see a tavern defense being set up right now. Let's look at the way they do this. And in fact, I've got 6-6 six, six War Rim. Let's tune in and listen. No oh, shit, he's there still. I didn't know where he was. One, one med can spawn. Only one him. near. Yeah, I only saw one. When he was medic as well. One in, one in. Need to shoot him. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> nice. I only saw one guy and they killed him. Did they go through spawn or something? Uh, they, they keep the well, two guys were spawned. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm pushing as a team. One's in on the right side. I got Artie and Gortat, so they can. You're the only fast. one. They're coming flag already. There's only one guy there. Okay. Kill him. Yeah, that was him. <laughs> what are they doing? No. It's Koryat now, two guys. Coming, two coming, guys. coming. Coming in. Weak. Nice guys, give up. One give. More, more, two more. Two more right side, two more right side. Wow. Fuck's sake. Raz retaking the tavern. Three in tavern, four in tavern, nice four jump, in tavern. Nice jump. Four in tavern. Okay. 3D, they're coming. Strike it, strike this. Strike. Oh. They were already in there. In the point One in cellar already. Okay. Two in cellar. They're coming through, two and seven. Go courtyard now, go courtyard. Unless Mirage can. Straight in the middle, nope. don't let the gold. Go left, go left, guys. Go courtyard. One spot back. They were might two. go behind, yeah? They were aware two of the gold. I'll go behind them. Roz with the grab! Let's head out of War Room. And watch Mini making his way forward into the courtyard. Nobody set up to defend this courtyard. They're going to come around the corner through Z or whatever you want to call this. Hanging back, teammates backing him up. Second courtyard, sick, six. Jam chucking some grenades, not quite ready to shoot. Viz goes for the kill and uh, gets killed himself in a 1v1. Should have waited maybe on Parcher teammate to, to back him up over there. Parcher almost gets shut down by Putty's Panzer. Putty actually narrowly misses. Parcher's in a 2v1 situation. Backs off wisely, probably saves, uh, saves his life over there. Nail, what's going on with those, with the gold? Oh, great grenade by Putty. Uh, they've, oh, no. oh, and he follows it up. I think Mirage got the uh, return there. I was. Yeah, he was just kind of one of those kills for the last person in behind. We have three axes at the south tower. That might be game. There still is enough time on the clock, but barely. Roz is not in position to grab just yet. Just barely. Maybe. Oh, jam, shut down. Might be their saving grace. Just enough time on the clock. Oh, look at Oxy. Oxy on the MG42, holding down the courtyard. We're just going to stay locked on this guy now. <laughs> We're just going to watch him. Oh, oh, oh. See that? Oxy's playing the way I do. The second he sees something, he's, you know, trigger finger. A little more patience might have worked for him. He gets shut down. Now look at this. MG42 cannot stop Team Roz. They're on the way. Oh, gosh. Big push. Here's Mini. Mini's just going for it. Look at this. Oh, oh no. Shut down. Axis jam with the return. How unfortunate. Time is ticking away. The Axis win. win. That means we have a full hold. I'm yelling, get it, but there's no allies alive still. I'm like, ah. Oh. I thought there was someone right there, but they all got blown up, as you can see there. That, it was an amazing run where they grabbed with 45 seconds left on the claw. You saw how far they got. Basically didn't stop the entire way. That's... But yeah, that's the very first full hold we've seen on this map. Oh, let's hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's really bad. All right. Putting 10 minutes right there on the clock in sudden death. And that could be the death knell right there for Team Roz. Their only hope. 
at this point is to full hold team six six. Tough to do. Yeah. I was kind of surprised that like around the four or five minute mark, uh, they, Roz uh, dropped their Panzer. Like Parcher didn't Panzer the rest of the game. They still were able to push through Tavern, grab the documents, but I was surprised they just they never switched back up to a Panzer to just you know get a couple extra spawn kills or whatnot, clear out the courtyards. It's kind of an interesting call, but uh, we'll see if they can hold it. Kind of weird, yeah. I was curious if lag has something to do with it. He's still pinging about 140 or so, you know. Maybe, maybe he was feeling more confident with his. Uh, he was getting great shots, uh, entry shots for the tavern. I mean, he was getting one or two every time, but just after they got the documents and blew the crypt, he was never Panzer after that, you know. It's uh, it's a little unfortunate. We we lost their war room during the crash over there. I'm not going to be able to, to tap in and listen to Team Roz because you know you know they've got to be feeling pretty disappointed right now, pretty upset. It was totally their game to win, and now they are in very serious danger of losing this thing altogether. I mean, with 10 minutes on the clock, the best they can do right now is full hold against Team Six Six which keeps us in a tie. And, Nail, I'm not quite sure what happens with Two Continents, One Cup. Do we go into a second sudden death? I don't think so. There's nothing about that in the rules. It's just sudden death. It would be a full tie then, right? Yeah, both teams would get the uh, the points, I guess, for the, for the day. Okay. So, there you are. Uh, Roz, close. So close. 6-6... Six, six, has to just beat the time of 10 minutes on the clock. They've done it before, right? Yeah, I mean, you can see. 732? <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it's like a yo-yo. They're either really fast or really, really slow. Yeah, exactly. So, on paper, this ought to be 6-6's six round over here. But when you start looking at the scores, I guarantee you this, this time around it's going to be the same, right? Team Roz... No, Team Roz has actually fallen behind. For the first time, Roz is lagging on kills, damage giving, gives everything. And I think a big part of that is the fact that Parcher stepped down as Panzer. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, we've got the first push for 6-6, six, six, all med train. Uh, they're blowing up the gate right now, getting in the southwest. And then on the Axis defense... Pretty standard. Three meds, two LTs, one Panzer. All going into the tavern right now. One person watching short. Big push coming in right now. Oh, buddy. Mirage 2v2. They're going to lose. The H2O and many. Nobody to revive these medics in the corner. And Team Raz, Axis Defense, successfully holds off the first tavern push. I'm watching Parcher trying to jump through the little, <laughs> the little gate, the little uh, bartender plot. He got stuck three times. <laughs> <laughs> that is so movement frustrating. It's a little bit different on 150 ping. Like not just shooting, movement and jumping around feels a little bit clunky. Oh yeah, I guess is the word. Putty leading the charge though for the next push here. He's going to the southwest. See if he can get a good entry shot to uh, to help them out this time. Well, I'm watching Jam, who's kind of taking off the uh, the rear over here. Keeps his cross here, placed right on the door, just in case anybody pokes out, backs up as Axis Forces chuck an airstrike out the corner. And here comes the push. Jam taking point, goes right side. Boom, shut down very quickly. Two guys, three guys oh dead. Medics gosh. trying to get the revive. I don't think this is going to work. Look at all those bodies. Actually, actually, we've got double revive, a little bit of penetration. We're down to one allied soldier. Knife in the back. I think he got he got goaded, didn't he? No, he got almost, shot. Almost. Almost got goaded. Yeah, I mean, you could see the uh, the entry panzer. <laughs> it, I'm sure it did some damage to somebody, but it didn't kill anybody. Um, I mean, one is better than none. I've had that that happen to me before. You know, you shoot or you get shot and you shoot the door instead. It happens, but they really need to try to get at least one or two people with that entry panzer. Ping rage in chat saying, I can do it on 250 ping. No excuses talking about the straight hopping. And hey there, Menthu Ra. I, know, I, I recognize you from... Uh, Menthu Ra. 
I recognize you from uh, Words TV over there. And Fantasy RTW, yeah, I got the IP for the Roz War Room. It's just, with the setup, it's it's too much work to jump into it at this point in the game. Sorry. Uh, we will tune in right now, though. Nail to 6-6. Six, six. Crack the code as they try to penetrate and get slaughtered at the door of death. Let's listen. They just shoot so fucking hard. This is insane. Yeah. Maybe a little frustration going on with 6-6. Six, six. Whatever. Even though this game is theirs to lose Ooh, at I this point. Oh, I didn't die. What the... How is it on the roof? I'll try to sneak. No. They're all in time again. Fucking Gangster. wall hacking this guy. What the fuck? Ooh. No, gee. It's gonna be a strike after. Interesting allegation. Oh! They're dropping oh. some packs, gems. I, th I thought somebody got goaded for real. It's so easy to He's sneak through water. right now, by the way. Yeah. Put shoot again. Mm hmm Put it. Fuck it, I'm going Wait, no, I'm waiting for... They're just... Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're set up right now. Nice. I mean, that's the fucking fight is fun. Oh, Pans is fired. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's shooting and revives. Don't oh go left, guys. Just jump to the right. I Don't one. go left. Yeah, please. Go left, we fucked. Hello. Nice. Just gotta kill me. Sneaky. Shut down. Tell <laughs> Panzer must. <laughs> well, well, he knows I died. I want to stay there, though. All right, out of war room, nail six six. They don't sound super serious. They're not making a whole lot of call outs. What do you make of that? Oh, it just might just be their personalities, but I mean, they've just they've been running into the tavern, but just they either are all dying at the same time or they're not going left when they should go right, and you know they're just getting really split up. Panzer by Putty misses again. Incoming, huge push. H two O. Taking out four people, two MP42 Luger, five people. Wow. Either wow. he's uh, either he's playing cleanup crew, or he's got some great shots going on, or maybe both. <laughs> H2, oh, just dominating with the pistol. It's unusual in this game because the pistols are well. I mean, it's it's not quite as effective as the 1D, if you know what I mean. H2, oh. Yeah, I mean, three three shots will do it either way, though. Yeah, exactly. Three shots. I mean, if, if you're good, if you got solid aim, yeah, man, you can shut them down real fast. Good sidearm. Always switch to it when you're out of ammo. H2O is peeking around the corner, and uh, something going on elsewhere. Tavern's not where it's at. 6-6, six, six, Squiz, Mata, both shut down by. Putty. Green light. Wait, what? Mata disconnected. Oh. <laughs> uh. Putty, push short, kill the Panzer. Goes up to the crypt and throws a dynamite. Delay, you know, whatever happened, he actually made it so they can get the flag. So they have the ally. The allies have the flag right now, and they're pushing up the ladders. It looks like Team Roz is kind of falling back. They're giving up the tavern area. They're not going to push up on flag too much, and they're setting up for that first push. Here comes Tweety. Shut down. Then Jam tries to revive. Tweety was just too far ahead. Both of them going to get shut down 339 on the clock right Putty now. Putty getting a spawn kill, maybe. Gets one. You know, it's... Oh, that would have been a great time to push oh, if it Elsa. wasn't a three-man artillery. Where'd that happen? I didn't even see it. It was on one of the uh, crypt ladders. And we have Max oh, and wow. Mini retaking the flag. So now we have 6-6 six, six respawned all the way back to the Allied truck. I really am losing faith in this push right here. I mean, Roz is doing a solid job cleaning up and keeping control of this map. Here's Max. We're watching him holding a nice tight angle on the, uh, on the right side. Allies' perspective. 
Waiting for the push. Here it is. Kicks around the corner. Nice crossfire. Shuts down. Jam backs up his teammates over here. And there's another allied push into the tavern. Looked like a three-man push. Completely shut down. Where are the other two? That's the big question. Outside tavern. Oxy. Peeking around. What is he doing? Does he think they backed off? Nope. He's going to back up. No, he's waiting on a backup. I guess the real question is... Oh, nice! Oh, Grenade nice. takes out H2O. That might, that might have him out full. Good push. Another miss with that Panzer. That or they're just... They already fell back, because, yeah, they're getting the flag easy right now. Yeah. Oxy's going to just bypass the flag, go full speed. Takes a pot shot at one of the guys at Cemetery Ladder. Boom! Falls on his grenade. That was Parcher. Parcher knew what was happening. Drops the grenade behind him and blows the body sky high. Now, this is bad. I mean, the crypt has still not been breached over here. We got Axis forces set up all over the place. Assuming Dynamite goes down right now, they'll have the one minute. And the I think, just got killed. So less, way less than one minute to run the documents. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, I don't think so either. Tweedy was still alive. He ran up the crypt ladder, got a one-on-one -on -one situation, got his face kind of peeled off there. So, yeah, I mean, even if they planted right now, they wouldn't have enough time. Unreal. 6-6, six, six, they're going to continue trying. I mean, you never know. You might just get lucky, get that dynamite down, and do a crazy 30-second run. I don't know. <laughs> well... It is highlighted in the rule set, so you're not allowed to pass the gate. You, you uh, cannot. Pass the village, you know, documents through the gate. That's true. Finally, you get a dynamite plant. Probably too, a little too late right there, Tweety. Dynamite's down. That was around 45 seconds, which means there is only 15 seconds left once that detonates. Even if you were to use the exploit and pass the gold through the gate, not enough time. Yeah, there's just no way. Even even the fastest uh, trick jumper in the world isn't going to do it over here. Valiant effort on the part of Team 6-6. Six, six. Great game played by both teams, but this just isn't going to happen. Let's see if we get uh, at least ama one Amazing up. games. I mean, they just blew the crypt. Uh, the, you know, they had so many chances to get it done as far as Team Roz goes. Because they had amazing times on Village, but that is it. Three, two, one. All right. Tie game. Tie ball game. Good games. Wow, great game over there. Let's take a quick look at the scores. And again, Team Raz leading in almost every respect over there. Check it out. 134 kills, 94 kills. The Gibbs kind of tells the story. 56 and 34. The damage given a little bit higher. What's, uh, I know it's a tie game here, but what's that scoreboard tell you, Neil? It tells me that these teams are a little bit more even than I anticipated. I really thought 6-6 six, six was just going to wipe the board with them, uh, but I was definitely wrong. So uh, hats off to Team Roz for, for proving me wrong and uh, look forward to seeing them play play again. Well, uh, I've got the scoreboard updated for the final time right there. It is official. 10 minutes and 10 minutes, two full holds in sudden death right there. Teams are leaving the server. Good games being exchanged. And uh, wow, that's just positively incredible. What a way to kick off week one. <laughs> on T S N. Oh, I love it. Got those old TSN sounders from way back in the day. Oh, hey there, goat. Yeah, that uh, you know where all that stuff comes from. In fact, you know whose voice that is. That's Hair Warwitch. Who they will be even covering sound more. old, like they're being played from a record player. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's like great. 96 kilobyte bit rate. <laughs> most, most of those things were made by Trevelyan. Uh, our, our friend who worked for TSN and then later on for Radio ITG. In fact, here I'll uh, twitch.tv slash Travelian. 
that's the guy. Yeah, I'll type that. In he actually has a really interesting voice, and uh, I've watched his stream a couple <laughs> times. He yeah. sings on stream. It's funny. Yeah, Tra Trav's a crazy guy. I hung out with him a couple times at some of the Quake Cons and all those sort of events that we did. Um, a lot of talented people in, uh, from TSM. Yeah. They'll, some of our guys have gone on, like Corey Duns. He's directing the freaking MLG stuff. He's done big Counter-Strike casts. We got Joe Miller, who's like the League of Legends caster, number one guy. And <laughs> all these well, other there's things. There's a lot of talent from the teams tonight. Who would you say was the uh, the MVP? I mean, it's hard to say. It is hard to a say. tie ball game. It is really one. hard. I but, uh, don't know. You know, I'm going to hold off for a little while. I have a name in mind. But first, let's put it to chat over here. Wow, we got a lot of viewers. That's that's amazing. Thanks, guys. Uh, and also, Fantasy, I see you just gave me a donation over there. That's awesome. Five bucks for H2O skill. Uh, yeah, it's just like, what's up with the Luger? Like, he's the man. Um, JMig72, I don't think I got you, but thanks for the follow there as well. Um, yeah, I'll throw it to chat. MVP of the game. Tell me, tell us in chat who you're thinking and uh, we'll get to that shortly. Quick rundown of the game. Nail. <laughs> if it's quick, I mean, the game lasted forever. It was 6-6 versus Team Raz, which is a bigger word that means diversity. They, uh, they used that diversity and they faced adversity. 6-6 was overwhelmingly favored to win. And they were off to a really good start on base, setting a time of 5-0-1. Uh, beating, or rather beating the time of 5-37. With 501, score went one and zero in round number two, six six at seven fourteen, no time, two zero in favor of team six six. Round three, we saw the uh, one fifty one time. Good lord, <laughs> uh, putting uh, team Roz on the board, and then two fifty two, uh, allowing Roz to tie it up two and two. We then went into Village, which was long. 8.42 by 6.6, beat the time of 9.56. That gave 6.6 the lead, 3-2. and two. I think we all expected the game to be over at that point, but no, uh, Team Roz was able to get that 3 minutes and 28 second super fast time. Uh, skill, luck, whatever. They got the job done, tied the score, and then it was kind of a, kind of a choke in sudden death. 3-3. Three and three. Time the game. Great game, great game. Okay, let's catch up with chat. What are you guys saying? Yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think anybody had too many opinions on the uh, the MVP. I'd probably say, uh, I don't know, toss up between H two O and Mini. They were both playing really well. Parcher played good for having a high ping. Um, I thought they did great. I mean, Putty had his moments. Uh, you know, I, I, I like watching the Panzers the most. He had some some really good moments, but. On Village, it just was, wasn't the same as on the other maps. Yeah. So I'd probably say H2O and Mini. H2O and Mini. Okay, I I was thinking H2O. I'm tempted to say Parcher, though. That's the thing. Because Parcher was on fire. I mean, he was doing some, like, night-level panzering going on. I don't know what the issue was. And he's keep in mind, he's doing this from way over here where we are in North America with a crazy, you know, 150 ping, which is tough with this freaking net code yeah he's using a panzer but think about the way that gun works especially those of you who are watching who don't play this game you fire the pan you like you click the button I, I want to fire the panzer click there's a momentary delay while the, the gun spools up if you will then it fires but you also have the delay of the lag which is variable so uh, how do you how do you get those accurate shots you pretty much have to predict uh, it it's not that bad <laughs> Oh, it's easy. Sabo, you're a freaking noob. I, well, I, I mean, a lot of the times game. you're just standing there waiting. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's well, it's like it's like CS oping, right? Like uh, if we people freak out about, oh, he's such a good oper. Well, a lot of time he's just standing there, and the second he sees something, he clicks the button. So it's, like, <laughs> it's not. It's not too too bad. I if I was playing with that same thing, I wouldn't want to be using a regular gun. I'd rather use a a bazooka as well. So yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Great games, though. Uh, definitely did not expect it to go into overtime. Absolutely. Hopefully, uh, we'll game. get some some more games like this because I like when they're close. I love it. I, I, I don't mind it when it's a four and zero, 
but uh i like when they're close i yeah absolutely i love it when they're close i i mean it takes a long time as a caster to get this stuff done let's jump real quick into the games tv link i'll switch to the desktop let's see that is <laughs> this hotkey some people lost some money let's see at the time this well, stuff I don't even closed know how that works on there i don't even the, know yeah at the time that this thing closed, it was still basically the same odds I told you earlier, 114 to 1426. You guys were 100% certain 6-6 six, six were going to dominate and walk away the victor. No hope for Team Roz. Boy, they proved you wrong, right? Tide score, overtime, sudden death. It doesn't get much closer than that. So, yeah, I don't know how that works, but I, I think somebody's losing some money on that one. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how it works with a tie either. I mean, some some of the cups, they have just, you know, play and play and play and play until someone finally wins a round. This cup, I mean, it specifically calls out, you know, you just play one one game. doesn't matter if it's a tie round or not, which it might get adjusted in the rules. Who knows? In the playoffs, it definitely can't be like that. Uh, but great wow. games. I don't really like when we see Village, but it was, it was a treat. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, looking at week number one, we've already had one game. We talked about that in pregame. Sten is real versus dog. That was a big, uh, oh, and four blowout where dog dominated kind of as expected. I mean, they're, they're one of the best teams out there, uh, to go this week. Uh, we have the cave team cave versus the limbo warriors. Uh, we also have team Fritip versus crossbreed. None of those games have been confirmed yet. I don't know which channel is going to cover it. I don't know what do, what days those are going to happen. But if you give me a follow and you watch my channel or you just go to the site I'm on right now, which is rtcwcup.com, you can get all that information. Check out Games TV. Check out Merlinator. Check out Warwick TV. It'll be on one of our three casts, I guarantee you. Um, and if it's not there, it's probably not going to be cast at all. Uh, that's week one. More base, ice, and village. This will be going on all week before we set up for week number two. You can look, uh, look forward to seeing a little more of ice, a little more village, and a tiebreaker of assault. The following. Well, there's actually, uh, we're going to be playing, I mean, you'll see it either. You'll see it as a tiebreaker or you'll see it as a regular map. UFO is in the mix of all the maps being played, which I love. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, you're going to see that as a tiebreaker in week three. And then it's going to make a return. And Tundra Rush is a pretty, pretty big map. But uh, it's fun as well. I'm I'm kind of worried about that, to be quite honest. Oh, my, my screen is all broken. There we go. Hey, Crazer. No, no, it's got a lot of strategy involved. I, I think I'm going to have to get together with you or Elf or yeah, somebody. Yeah, we can go through it real quick, actually. Yeah, run through it. Because I don't know Tundra. Is that like an ET map? Um... I don't think so. Custom. No, no. I, I mean, it came out probably around when ET was out, so okay, it might so be I would have been, games. But... Yeah, I probably would have been gone by then because I casted RTCW a lot, and then I didn't. You know, about the time that I was getting into like senior year of college and getting all serious about the whole career thing, um, kind of just all water. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. We went to the same school. We missed each other by what, like two years? Yeah. No, it's 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 a really cool map. I like that this cup is tossing in stuff like tundra rush ufo right um and there's going to be a you know community decider towards the end and there's actually sub is in there and keeps in there so yeah see all sorts of cool maps you haven't seen in a while in fact yeah stay tuned because we will have a public vote here it says we will have a public vote on the custom map to be used during week eight and week nine community map vote winner so yeah we could see just about anything uh well subkeeper escape you know whatever you want to see played you get to vote on. We I don't think the, the poll or anything is up quite yet, but uh, we'll probably do that on air on one of our channels and have a good time with it. Yeah, the cup, it's been running smooth so far. I mean, today, the, right before the match, the admins actually got together, made a little decision, made sure people could actually right. add people to the roster right before the map. So That's I great. I think uh, the admins are doing a great job. Um, you know, just slight rule adjustments here and there, and uh, it should be a good cup. Uh Nail, are you an admin for this cup? No, no, this is the first cup I've played in, though, since we started doing this. 
I'm really excited to see you actually play in the game because <laughs> don't get too excited. I'll let you down. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like me, you know, I've, I've spent all this time casting games and every now and then I get like this idea. I'm going to play seriously. Like I, like I've been getting serious about the counter-strike stuff and it's like, I'm so bad. Like I am so bad. Uh, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> bad. It's like, I'm playing with a track ball. It looks like probably <laughs> playing. It's Dude, like, the... I'm, I'm, I'm not even like, if I, if I were to in a race with Squiz or Feta from uh -huh. KIH, it would look like I'm wearing like, you know, five pound weight weights on my feet. Like I'm just so slow Yeah, and it's, it's just so bad to watch. <laughs> I'm not near as good as I used to be at video games, but it's, it's so really bad. fun. This is my game, you know, my favorite game that is to play. So it should be fun. Hopefully, hopefully my team can, uh, can get some wins under our belt. I find I am, I'm slower. Like all my my reaction times in these games are a whole lot slower. But I play smarter. I'm far more patient than I used to be. So I can. Uh, yeah, I mean, crap. I'm I'm over. I'm over thirty years old. These people I'm playing against sometimes are like sixteen. I'm like ah. Me too. In fact, I know kids. I know some you of don't my even have a mortgage. I know some of my Counter Strike people are watching right now, and it's it's crazy because I was talking about it on on another channel on the air i'm like yeah man i've been getting ready to cover my rtcw and they're like what's that I'm like oh, it's <laughs> like oh it's a game that came out when you were in middle school yeah exactly but honestly this is rtcw is newer than counter-strike counter-strike is 15 years old this is 14 years old it is a newer game darn it <laughs> It just hasn't been up. Well, thank you for having me today. It was, it was fun. I haven't absolutely haven't cast in a long time, dude. I, I hope you join me more often. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. We got nine weeks of this, so those of you stay tuned. Nine weeks of RTCW plus the playoffs. Nine, nine weeks I can handle. Six months I can't, <laughs> like yeah. the other cups. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can keep this thing kind of moving quickly and get it under control. Anyways, nail. Thanks so much for being on. Uh, we're going to close the stream Thank out. You. Uh, we'll go to a sounder, get, cut to some music, and I will try to find somebody to host so you guys can watch. Like something really cool. Maybe Merlinator's on. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. Stay tuned.